All right. Uh, I'm not restarting the... Actually, hold on. Let's do an intro just in case I end up cutting the first thing and then adding it to the second thing. Uh, uh, hi, YouTube. Uh, this is the start of a run where we definitely did not just die and I'm starting another one. This is obviously first try, but we're trying to do Nightmare Permadeath. Hopefully it goes better than the last one. That didn't actually happen because that's imaginary. And this is the one. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Sick intro. Thank you, Stim. Uh, down, down, nightmare, start game. Yes, go. Let's go! I'm ready. This is the one. Good RNG, Prage. Last run, we got good item RNG. Like, really good item RNG, too. I'm really sad we lost it. Uh, we got really good item RNG. Really bad alien RNG. So... I mean, it do be like that sometimes, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I think just like, I need to play really, really safe. I can't play taking risks like that. Like, if it's been a while since the alien last dropped, I really need to make sure to like ward him away before doing anything. Because that's what happened in chapter 17 kind of too, before I like learned how to use the distraction items and such. Manzi, you look absolutely phenomenal today, by the way. Just a gosh darn hunk of a man. Thank you for coming to chat. Over the casino? True. Actually, well, I mean, we might just keep resetting is the thing. I don't know how far we're necessarily going to get for the rest of the day. So maybe we just kind of bet on vibes. You know what I mean? Ooh, actually, hold on. I have a bet we could do. Ooh, SCJ injector? Off rip. Cherry! <laughs> All right, different kind of bet. Since we're playing for RNG right now, uh, this is going to be the box that we always play music for uh, to specify. That's what we're betting on. All right, let's hope Snamuel's uh, soft locks us so that we get good RNG, Copian. Please don't talk to me. Oh, Damn it. Samuels. <laughs> Josh, you also look absolutely amazing. Not well, only once, but twice. I got a compliment. You're looking that good, sir. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. What option is flare? No, it's, it's, it's if I get either of those or none of those. M -class. Is the bet. A later pattern, but close inspection. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. And oh, beep boop 69. God damn. You look at, hey, brother, you you wear in a suit is the only thing on my mind. I love myself a sharp-dressed man. Looking absolutely amazing today, sir. Hopefully you get to wear one soon. <laughs> uh, all right, Chatters. The first real bet that doesn't involve me throwing or not, Pog. <laughs> Actual gambling. <laughs> See if there's anything else in here. That would be very cool. Damn it. All right. Well, so much for that. I feel like death. I'm not doubting you. I'm doubting the RNG. I'm not a hypocrite. I mean, listen. If we know anything about alien chat, it's that the RNG never necessarily seems to be in our favor. I don't blame you. The loss of the Nostromo Thanks, Ted. I'll make sure to check it out if I can. Uh, today or tomorrow, I hope. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. The death RNG was awful. Yeah. I mean, listen. It's just kind of like it's. It was avoidable. It was really unlucky. Like, if I were to like mentally calculate it based on my experience with this game, the alien would have dr not dropped like, I don't know, like seventy-five percent of the time. So I thought I could just kind of get away with that. Because I had already used flamethrower fuel and I didn't really want to use any more. But like the really smart and safe thing to do would have just been to wait out the alien dropping again so that I knew I would be safe. Then even if it spawned behind me, I could have just like, um, 
you know, flamed it away. And I just would have been alive. I just would have had less flamethrower fuel, which wouldn't have been like the biggest deal. If, um, considering the amount of loot that I had at the moment. I mean, it's kind of on me, but it's also really bad luck, you know? It, it's kind of both. Yeah. <laughs> 6k on no, so I'll scream if he gets fuel. It's fuel or a flare. So there's a better chance than you might think. But there's also a chance I get literally nothing, like last time, so. It's great that you're at 60 attempts in and you still choose the non-safe route. I'm not, <laughs> shut up, I'm not 60 attempts in. I'm spamming the A button so I can secure my folder. We always did have only had four drinks. Hey, listen. Drinking in moderation is good, okay? Throwing your phone at your monitor probably wouldn't be a good idea if you lose all your snam coin. How are you going to pay for it? You run, you run. We're basically going to grind until we get, like, good RNG from, like, the first couple boxes. Because if we get ass RNG, I don't really want to play out a bad run. Ideally. Especially since we won't have all that much time left in this stream to, like, make it super far. Have you tried finding a four-leaf clover for good luck? No, <laughs> I have not. Maybe that's the secret. Chat, do you know where they grow four-leaf clovers on this giant mechanical space station? I'm switching to flame fuel, so it should be better now. Flame fuel is like the rarest thing you can get in the game, but I mean, hey, that's what you want to do. I'm proud of you for going just straight cold turkey, Cherry. Oh. Bad box RNG runs are skill based. They're skill based, I know, but I don't have skill, so that's kind of the inherent problem with that. Next, the fish farm, oh, of course, yes. Oh, leprechaun, infinite good luck life hack, true. Good point. All right, we're not exact, I mean, we do have an SCJ injector, but other than that, we're not off to the greatest start, I won't lie. Are you gonna count the number of runs in the edit so you can settle this question when this run is done? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm gonna like make a cut every single time I die, so I'll just be able to count those, I'd imagine. All right, chat. What uh, what song are we playing here? We need a song for good luck and hopium. No, see a lot of number twos in the chat, which is not very reassuring. Still the best survival horror, dude. Honestly, true. No song? We no song it? All right, yeah, fuck it. Damn, that's tough. Congratulations, doubters. <laughs> tough, okay, well, let's check the next few boxes. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to hit another run. Empty silence for empty box. <laughs> True. All right. Well, again, we'll see what these next boxes have. And if it has jack shit, we just reset again. Because we might as well just farm for good runs with the time we have left in the stream. Hello? Anyone here? Skill based run. Skill based run can suck my nuts. I like it better when I don't have to use any skill, actually. <laughs> All right, we definitely need to play a song. The no song only works that one time, and that's because Samuel's glitched. I think that's more because of him than the no song. All right, these boxes will determine if this is a reset or not. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Open sesame, all right. <laughs> Open sesame. Nope. Okay. Not looking very good.
Opé <laughs> uh, SCJ. Is that worth it? And it is so over. I don't know, dude. I feel like I could get so much better off of like anything. <laughs> this really isn't anything. It's Jover. Go again. Reset. I'm done. Book it. Get it. Let's get some good items, maybe. Let's get some good early items, and if the rest of the playthrough turns out shit, it's whatever. At least we had today. <laughs> All right, new intro, new run. Definitely didn't throw the last one. Pog, alien, isolation, nightmare, permadeath. Basically, if I die on the hardest possible difficulty, I have to reset the entire game. We're hoping for the best. This is run. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> we go nightmare, start a new run. Definitely didn't <laughs> just have a run that horribly failed or anything. And we go. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Open for a flare or a fuel or like an SCJ paired with a charge pack, I think would be like the ideal situation here. What's up, Downey? Uh, okay. Let's see if we get some good stuff. Some good stuff would be very cool here. Weirdly enough. No scrap run, please. Show some mercy. <laughs> We get another scrap run, I'm never gonna... <laughs> I would rather just, like, never play this game again. Okay, I am. I'm interested. You have my attention. <laughs> that's, that's probably the best first box I've ever gotten. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Definitely not skipping this one. Arkham City has beaten me for a while, as it does to many, dude. It wears you down, man. It's not that it's, like, hard, either. It's just, like, really absurdly long. All right, all of these are empty. But that's kind of to be expected, so I'm not too bummed about that. Empty. All good. Get dressed. This is this a legit run? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all legit runs right now. Uh, since we're resetting. It's just I've been resetting to get like semi-decent RNG instead of it just being another scrap run where I get soft locks from being able to beat the game, you know? Speaking of soft lock, my boy Snamuel could just uh, also soft lock so that <laughs> the game bugs out and gives me a lot of stuff. Oh, Ripley. Damn it. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. We believe in flares. We do believe in flares. Dude, if we get flares or like flamethrower fuel in the box alongside all this, this is this is actually like one of the more promising starts to a run that I've had. Like this is already not a toss away. Even though this is like the first time ever we've started applying toss aways. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Alrighty. Uh, nope, nothing there. Did you see my redeem? What was your redeem? I told you. Oh, you got another one, Vanzi. I'm so sorry. You know what? I mean, you honestly deserve even like three compliments for looking that good, my friend. Because, like, listen, Vanzi. I mean, not only are you professional at acquiring the Snam Coin, but you know how to put it to good use. Because I will gladly, every single day of the week, call you handsome, sir. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. Whoa, what's up, Happy? Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. Can you the eat the flare, Doug? I wish. Maybe it'd be like one of those uh, fizzy sticks, you know, that you dip the um, the sugar stick into, and you just kind of like pop it open, and it goes like. <laughs> Cat time. Yeah, lovely. Easily the best way to describe you and your name, it's because okay. holy moly, do you look, look lovely today? Right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been. <sighs> yeah. Dude, I'm still kind of bummed, low key, about the oh, chapter ten. 
RNG that we had. Is that what that was like a lot of really good stuff that we lost? Pixie stick. A pixie stick. Okay, that is what it's called. Fun dip. No, oh, it is. Yeah, the pixie stick in the fun dip. That's that's what it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chet. Chet, how has your day been, by the way? Now that we have some time to chat as uh, I have to walk around the station again. What are we doing today? What, what fun things have happened this week that you would like to share with the class? Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old... Fun dip would hit, right? Do fun dip? I haven't had fun dip in like the longest time. I want to say like 10 years straight up. Pretty good. Work right now is pretty cruisy. Nice. We'd love to hear that. Uh, decent. Okay. Very hot. Where are you at, Eagles? Where it's like super scorching. Went to the movies yesterday? Barbenheimer or something else? TMNT? Stop interview yesterday and I had another one today. Ooh, Kelly, good luck. I didn't path the pain footage. Nice. Okay. Huge. How you said you got to Absrad in Panth Five, right? Flip. What is Fun Dip? It's basically like um, a powdered flavored candy. Can we? Went to the gym. Nice, Robert. Keeping up with it. We love to fucking see it. It's RE4 remake a few days ago. Better than OG. Ooh, interesting opinion. I can't say for sure. I need to play it a few more times. But I really like it too. Pop Rocks? Dude, I actually have a pack of Pop Rocks in my house that has been sitting there for over a year because I don't really like Pop Rocks that much. <laughs> but I just kind of keep it just in case for whatever reason I decide I want Pop Rocks today, you know? Which never happens. Almost done hunting all the teams in Ghostwire Tokyo. Ooh, nice. I need to get around to that too. That's been in my backlog for a little bit now. Often do you go to the gym? Uh, ever since I started just like being heavy on the editing grinds like once or twice a week, but I used to go three times. I need to keep up with it a bit better. It really depends because if I have a video coming out soon, I'll like skip a bunch of days. But if um, I'm like just finished a video, then I'll be like really good about it. I'm just kind of like inconsistent is the main thing. I hang out with my friends after getting out of a toxic relationship. Let's fucking go, Richard. That's fucking tight, dude. I'm happy for you. Toxic relationships are always really bad. I had a friend who was in like a pretty rough one. Actually, I've had like um, multiple friends who are in toxic relationships. And they, they were always like super tough to get over. Is it bad to weigh 90 pounds as a 14 year old? Uh, how tall are you? I think it depends on your height because I used to be a really skinny kid when I was 14. Uh, I think I weighed, dude, I wanna say I weighed 125 when I was like six-ish feet. God damn. And Valu, you're looking absolutely amazing today, my dude. I do not know how you do it, but I would just like, Oh my goodness. The number on your name must easily represent your score out of 10 because it has to be that high. And he's a really skinny adult. I'm not skinny. I'm, how much do I even weigh actually? I think I'm like 190, 6'2 right now. Which I think is pretty good. All right, let's actually play music. Surely the music was the thing that was missing from the last one, Copium. Uh, what's something that drops on? I also need something that's not going to get affected by YouTube copyright. Oh, uh, but that drops so early, though. God damn it, this is a really good song. Okay, hold on. Oh, this one doesn't drop. Wait, does this have a good drop though? Or is it kind of a, you just lead it in? This is kind of sick actually, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Erm? 
They get short energy. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, you know what? Let's just go with the classic. You know, maybe we just gotta abide by tradition, Chet. The classic box opening song, Chet. I need your help now. Especially if you're a believer. Even if you're a doubter, I need it. All right, well, that's... <laughs> hey, traditions are kind of stupid, am I right? <laughs> All right, pay him out. <laughs> Sag. That is kind of a bummer. <laughs> He's got something to drink? Sure, yeah, I can join in on Cherry's thing. All that build up? Yeah, I mean, it do be like that sometimes, you know? All right, let's hope we get like at least a few more things uh, before the level's over and then we should be okay. Ish. Didn't get flamethrower fuel, which sucks, but at least, ooh, free flare? Wait, I did get the other one, right? Okay, thank God. I didn't know if I got my guaranteed flare or not. <laughs> Turns out the flare was outside the box, chat. You got scammed by the game, Sedge. <laughs> Unlucky. I'm counting that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the bet is not. I think someone said that's because you seem shorter than that on camera. You think so? That's interesting. I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like I don't know if I consider myself like a big dude, but I feel like I'm above average. I'm going, I'm going. Two, literally two sips left. <laughs> Ooh, charge pack and bolt gun? Okay, hold on. Nah, nah, nah. We, we can rock with this. Vanzi, you're also looking absolutely amazing again. Another win for yet another amazing human being who looks very good today. Man lip fives. That's not very nice. Uh, do I have to stand next to my door or something? I can whip out the tape measure if I can find it. That another flip, dude. We're getting a lot of flares. For what we're lacking in flamethrower fuel, we definitely have distraction items, which is very cool. The name is short. I'm not short. I don't know where you're getting this idea from. I was literally the very tall, skinny kid for like the longest time. I didn't even know you could loot stuff there, actually. Huh. I'm gonna have to check this chair from now on. You could have a short door, that's true. I could live in Europe or Japan or something. And you guys would never know. Uh, I only watch these streams for a hunk on the top right. <laughs> Where? I don't really see anything, but I'm sure he appreciates it. Very lanky, but shorter than you. You hide your guns behind loose shorts, shirts, I assume. I don't know if I have guns either. Like, I feel like I'm in shape, but I, I don't think I'm like anything, you know, substantial. You could engineer something to make you look taller. Good idea. Same as on the basketball team. I actually never, the thing is with me, dude, I'm so sad because I would have loved to play on the basketball team now, but I used to be like a sports hater until the middle of high school. Like I thought I was one of those fucking giant losers who thought like, oh, sports are just for jocks and require no intelligence. And if you if you like sports, you're just a dumbass. <laughs> I was very like high and mighty. I'm like, yeah, you should play video games instead. Those take real skill. <laughs> uh, I have grown past that, thankfully. Um, but I used to really not like sports, and now I love basketball and football. And even though I probably wouldn't play football because CTE, I would have loved to play basketball when I was younger and like actually get good at it. I'm really sad I didn't. It always sucks when you realize you really like something in hindsight. If you're one of those, dog, I literally, I'm no joke, chat. Until 
freshman year of high school, whenever I'd talk to a girl that was not my mother or a family member, uh, or sorry, I should say a girl around the same age as me, I would freeze up and be very nervous. I had literally zero developed social skills whatsoever. And it's not, and it's like in freshman year of high school, I like talked to one and then I was just kind of like, dude, my fucking legs were shaking. That was crazy. <laughs> And I, I like got better, but then it was like, then it got to the point where it's like, I could talk to normal girls okay, but then uh, whenever I talked to a girl I liked, I literally could not bring myself to do it because my shit was like beating too fast. And I just decided to stay quiet. <laughs> I was just very shy, dude. And I, 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 I don't know, I was just kind of like, it's also really annoying because at school or like in public, I was always like very reserved. And the only thing I could do is be funny because uh, I didn't look that good and I didn't really have any charisma. So the only thing I could really get by on was jokes, right? So I had to learn how to be good at something. Um, so it was just kind of like, uh, dog, it was bad. <laughs> Nothing there said. Okay. Now he's for his witches. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's just kind of like, um, I think I got to a point. I think college was like the giant changing point for me because it was like an actual reset where I never had to like see any of the people that I had been going to school with um, again. And it was just like a complete fresh start in a completely different state and everything. And I'm just like, I don't like the way I am right now. I want to improve. I want to, you know, become more social. I want to be a bit more charismatic. Um, I want to like take care of my appearance a bit more. Uh, and then just kind of like worked on myself for like a good portion of freshman year. I think it was okay. Then again, I might be a, just a, you know, Omega coping and everyone could think I'm a giant loser still. But I mean, I'm I've gotten to the point where it's like, even if everyone does, I literally don't care. <laughs> I'm happy with like everything that's close to me in my life. So if some rando doesn't like me, then it's like, whatever. And Mars, thank you for the prime, dude. Appreciate the Jeff Bezos dollar dudes, brother. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. And uh, Highland, uh, Highlander Ben, what's up, dude? Thank you for the love as well. I saw your message earlier, but I was on a rant, so I didn't read it until now. All right, time to jack off some doors like usual, chat. I'm good old lock jacking. And actually evolved like a Pokemon. That's true. I also started going to the gym, and I think that increased my confidence a lot. Because instead of just being really skinny... Oh, and I was also on Accutane. That also really helped. Like, the gym and Accutane were, I think, like, the two biggest factors to, like, me feeling a lot more confident in myself. Gotta go dinner time. Later, ghost face. Gonna have to go eat dinner. Oh, later, Cherry. Sorry, we're not reading that until now, but appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> Hopefully we cured your alcohol. <laughs> okay, let's open this, and I think we should be kind of golden. It's like Accutane, that shit's illegal now. I don't know, because one of my friends is on Accutane. It's not illegal. <laughs> Like, literally currently taking Accutane, so I think we're good. That shit is rough, though. Like, you gotta be kind of committed. It's kind of different for every person, too, which is crazy. Because for me, it's like I had incredibly dry skin when I was on it, and my lips would always be chapped. Especially, like, the sides of my mouth, like, right here. Um, would always be chapped, and whenever I opened my mouth too wide, they, you know, my skin would break, and, it, you know, it was all bad. Um, but for my friends, he, he doesn't have the dry skin, like, whatsoever. But he has, like, muscle aches that kind of, like, leave him close to bedridden, um, when they get really bad, unless he, like, takes something for it. Later, and Shinopa, have a good one. We can get into all sorts of trouble there. Add bad acne as a teen that should fuck up your confidence for a long time, truly. Honestly, taking Accutane, no lie, was, like, one of the best decisions I ever made, though, in all honesty. Come on, I don't want to stick around here. Skuma dealer, you're looking absolutely amazing, dude. The only thing that I would purchase faster than Accutane is your Skuma, considering you're such a goddamn silver tongued devil, you. 
have to keep my distance. But yeah, it's also pretty dangerous. Like, there's a lot of side effects, and you have to be really careful. It will mess up your liver like crazy. Obviously, you want to do it with, like, a doctor's note, right? And get it approved, but, like, it works really well. Accutane has literally killed people, so anyone considering, please consult your doctor. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, it's it's serious stuff. I don't mean to downplay it. Like, I, I will sing its praises to anyone considering it. And if you can and your body can take it, I would recommend it. But again, it might not be for you, and you got to be really careful. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Is that considered juicing? I don't know. <laughs> we should look up the good old uh, <laughs> values and see how it goes, you know? Ren has cystic acne, went on Accutene, now he's perfectly clear skin and had the dry lips, right? Yeah. It's crazy how effective it is. It really should kind of be like a last resort thing, but it will get the job done if nothing else will. Because my mom used to buy me like a bunch of like different creams and lotions and everything and nothing works like whatsoever. I'm pretty sure it's prescription only. Yeah, no, of course. And you cannot get pregnant. Yeah, that's also really bad. You don't want to do that. You also can't drink on Accutane. It like um, turbo um, messes up your liver while you're on it. So if you do anything that else that makes the liver have to work harder than it already does, then bad. Also tracing a connection to Crohn Crohn's disease with uh, Accutane? Ooh, goodness. I didn't hear about that. Okay, definitely, definitely got to be careful then. <laughs> Holy moly. That's actually really scary. What's up, devil? Gonna get pregnant without a complete liver? Let's go. <laughs> if you haven't tried Visage, you should. I am so down. It's on my, like, backlog. And it has been for, like, a really long time, but I haven't been able to do it. At least we're safe down here. Cherry isn't gonna like oh, Accutane. I guess you can say that. I'm good, Devil. How are you? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. Uh, what's the next game? Uh, I kind of want to grind Alien for a little bit, but after Alien, uh, it's gonna be like some sort of like combination of Halo Lasso, Evil Within 2, and Batman Arkham Asylum, probably. What's up, Garrus? How far? I got to chapter 10, and then uh, we got re a really, really bad alien spawn, and I was in the middle of hacking something. It drops down right behind me, and because this game is this game, I could not uh, get off the hacking tool before the alien caught up and murdered me. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. As a dumb Norwegian, what exactly is Accutane? So it's basically a prescription drug that um, affects the liver, dries out your skin, and is basically meant as like a last resort for acne care and making your acne go away. It's a six month program. You keep taking the prescription medicine. Um, you have to check in with a doctor like every month to get your, um, you know, monitor your levels. You can't drink whatsoever while you're on it because it will mess up your liver. You can't get pregnant. It's it's hardcore stuff, pretty much. But it will very, very likely get rid of your acne for good. Make sure you stocked up on batteries. What's up, intelligent? Dead by Daylight is about to get an alien chapter. Stupid excited. Yeah, people have been telling me about that as I've been playing this. It should be interesting. I I only played a little bit of Dead by Daylight and found out it wasn't really my thing, but that's super exciting for the people who are really into it. Are you going to play Liza P? Absolutely. I'm so looking forward to that game. I'm always down for another Souls-like, dude. That's like my favorite genre. This week. Trying to beat Halo 1 Legendary under three hours with some friends, let me tell you. Uh, the library's got some hands. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Chronicles beat the game, no doubt. Oh, did he? Oh, no shit, dude. I gotta congratulate him. When did that happen, Vegeta? Hopefully, I'll be able to achieve it soon. I got to the end of chapter 17 the other day, and then I took a fat L. 
because uh, the alien caught up to me before I could get off a generator. Just now? What? Oh my fucking god, that's so cool! Got it covered. Night, Jesse, have a good one, dude. DVD alien announcement made me realize how many people have never actually Come watched on. the movies. Low key, I had only ever watched Alien, uh, and that was like a couple years ago. And I watched Aliens earlier this like last year. Apparently, this game is nearly ten years old, right? It still looks so good. It's crazy that this game it's is ten. To stay here too long. Uh, you're a Golden State fan, right, Sam? Yeah, I am a Golden State Warrior synth. Just those this is true. What's up, Supple Drito? How's it going? Your supply Drito? Hopefully one of those is Sorry, correct. So that's your ship, huh? Good morning, gamer. What's up, Tobias? How are you? Quiet. How is the Ori Sorry. going? Or the Ori video yep, coming along, I, I should you. say. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. At least we're gonna get past the tutorial tonight, Something's so that's good. Down. We'll have like nothing but actual stuff to do on Wednesday. Supplies. Always ideal. Wherever we can find Follow me. I've been wanting to watch Aliens forever now. It's really good. I enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed Alien more though. That was up, Tectonic. Thank you for the work, dude. All right, good old sneak by these guys, and we should be all huge. Skip Resurrection. Yeah, I mean, I've heard every Alien movie past Aliens probably is not worth the watch, so I'm kind of abiding by that right now. Okay, turn off the generator, go down the vent, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And it's like this game, Aliens is more random in space. Yeah, no, they're two completely different genres, but they're also two crazily good movies somehow in two different genres. Prometheus was a wild time. I actually need to watch that. People have told me that I probably should watch Prometheus. The action in Aliens has much aged much better than the horror in Alien. I don't know about that. It's still, I, I, eh. I didn't think the action hit all that much, whereas the horror in Alien was still kind of like there, even though I kind of knew it was going to happen already, which I think kind of downplayed it a bit in my eyes. Still up for the live stream test at the end? Yeah, Shad, I think it should be good. We're gonna we're gonna make it a little further into the game and then we can double check it. Was Prometheus? It's supposed to be like an alien prequel movie. Just hope your ship's still there. First movie was AVP. AVP's lit though, so that's that's not a bad first experience, I'd say. My shipping out papers were for a week. Aliens was my first scary movie. To be fair, as ten, so it really freaks me out. I'd imagine, dude. <laughs> I mean, alien is aliens are rated, right? I'm not crazy in thinking that. We've beaten Alien Isolation before, Snam. Yeah, a lot of times. I, I have all the achievements for it, and I have all the achievements for the PC version too. But I've never beaten the game Deathless on the hardest difficulty. Okay. I've beaten it Deathless on the easiest difficulty. Ready. On three. But we gotta get One, this done. Two, three. All right, let's go rescue our bald friends who does not give me Amazon Prime subscriptions. And then we should be good to go, I think. All right. Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. Okay. Let's get this bad boy going. Move it. Come on, Axel. We gotta go uh, get you your vacation spot. Where's Axel going this time, I wonder? Maybe he's going to the Maldives. Prodigals! What's up, dude? How's it going? I heard. I heard about what happens. You saved my life. That's fucking exciting, dude. Congratulations. Oh, chat. Do you understand? Give it up for Axel. Me. 
Off to the Maldives he goes, Chet. <laughs> I dropped my controller. Not the best time to do it. Oh. Imagine I die here, that'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> Chronicles, dude, I heard you beat this stupid run, man. Congrats. That's hella exciting. I will hopefully be following you relatively soon. What just happened? I literally dropped my controller on the floor, but thankfully it was during like the animation so that Ripley didn't do anything stupid for the alien to murder me. <laughs> People survive being eviscerated and then compressed all the time. I don't know about that, but Axel definitely does. Axel got himself snamwitched. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it was more like a hot dog, I would say. Like, his body sort of like, you know, went like this instead of like two separate pieces. Okay. I think we should be good. Unless the alien randomly drops. Which, you know, sounds about right for today, I would imagine. Hog. Axel's off to peggle, right? Yeah, he's off to go pegging, I think. Well, that was scary. <laughs> Any minute now, excited to watch it happen, man. Yeah, dude, I gotta go back and watch your pop off. <laughs> That's probably what I'll do after stream. I mean, we have strategies now. I died earlier today because I got a really bad alien spawn in chapter 10. I was like using my hack tool and he drops like right behind me. But the run before that, we were on the end of chapter 17. And if I got past that, I think I would have, like, actually beaten it. So I, I think I'm going to start, instead of, like, switching between two games, I'm just going to hardcore grind Alien for the foreseeable future. Because I feel the run coming, you know? Also, what are you planning on playing after this? <laughs> now that you're done with your buttfuck run, what's next? All right, what are we doing here? Bonding agent medkit? Not terrible, I guess. I think the Oravia is gonna be out by the end of this week. Ooh, wait, that soon? Hell yeah. Okay, I'll be there. Feel the runs coming, Sam? Go to the bathroom then? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a fantastic point. Um, <laughs> but I gotta persevere. Honestly, the threat of me pooping my pants just makes me do this faster and better, all right? Visage, only game that can maybe actively shit my pants. Dude, <laughs> I really do need to get around to playing that at some point. My backlog just so large though. Anything in there? Nope, okay. Back we go. And we go up, and we go down. Yeah, do do this faster, right? <laughs> Guys, over here. Take a little break from stream. Might either try a no item run or a kitty isolation run. What is a kitty isolation run? Ethanol scrap. Empty. Damn. Uh, oh, that's a key card. Also, Sag. Uh, his backlog brings all the boys to the yard. And damn right, it's better than yours. Amen. Insane mod that's apparently incredibly hard? Interesting. I have an idea for an alien challenge run after this, too, that I might end up doing at some point in the future. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing it, but I literally cannot even dream of starting it until, um, <laughs> until this is done. Like, if I post an alien video and it's not this run that I've been doing for six months, then <laughs> everyone's going to get so mad at me. It's alien plus getting over it. Oh, okay. Hold on. It's Davis typing the comment. Never mind. The chapter is the same on. We're on chapter three. 
we were we died in chapter 10 earlier because of a really tough alien spawn and we just had to reset so do we like that we you shared your idea for a run yet or not yet not yet i kind of want to keep it on the dl i think she went downstairs but i think it's gonna be a uh, banger I'm not going down there. No way. and it also has um it is all we'll I, yeah hold on i'm, I'm gonna spoil it i i <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. Okay, uh, uh, it's going to be really good. I, I am really looking forward to doing it because I think everyone's going to have a really fun time with it. Epic right here. Yes, sir. I'm on it. I got to follow in my mentor's footsteps. All right, we'll take that. E-card. All the crazy stuff can happen on a run. I remember Psycho making a backwards run. There's a backwards run? Like he only walks backwards? Chat, do you remember when um we still had the smoke bomb strat for chapter 10? And we thought for a second that walking backwards to the guy with a pistol was like a legitimately consistent strat. <laughs> I remember those days. And then we tried it in a real run and I just got immediately shot. <laughs> Oh, fucking god damn it. <laughs> when you win this, you'll officially be the new Earl of Snamwiches. Am I not already? <laughs> Guy in the chair is probably fine. Yeah, I mean, he's just, uh, maybe he's also in the Maldives. Just missed his flight or something. All right, Ripley, this is the like 30 something time of you seeing this thing. How are you still getting this upset? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Dumpy strap worked, you just fucked it up. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. All right, let's get our little doohickey and we should be fine. We gotta earn that Earl shift. Okay. I hate working for things. Why can't thing just appear on lap, you know? I mean, it's so much easier. Uh, oh, I lost the signal? It was here? Crazy. Open sesame. Hi, Oshino. Yeah, I died. That alien spawn feels bad, but we vibe. We move on. We stay hungry and we devour. Uh, get that, get that, get that, easy peasy. Not even worried. Hacking skills still at a 10 out of 10. And that's empty, okay, well. <laughs> Cannot hack items into the boxes, feels bad. Currently the Duke of Sandwiches, but you aren't the Earl. I mean, you know, I am unfamiliar with like the royal terminology, noble terminology, I guess I should say. Oh, this is so great with these alien runs. Well, luckily, we're gonna keep it going. I want to get this alien run done soon, unless two videos come out uh, for YouTube, in which case I should probably start <laughs> building my backlog again. But for the foreseeable future, until I beat this run, I'm hoping to like just keep grinding these things out. So I wanna get this done like soon. So every single stream day is going to be an alien run day until further notice. Empty. Sedge. Okay. Well. <laughs> Might be a pretty long time if this is what we're getting out of boxes. I'm going to be honest here. <laughs> Brags about part British. Knows nothing about royalty. Hey, sorry I'm not a fucking one percenter, Flipsy, okay? Sorry I had to work. For what I have, all right? It wasn't just, I was born into it. That's not true. I was, I had a pretty good upbringing. I'm not gonna lie. But still, <laughs> I'm not noble. <laughs> I don't know my noble ranks either. That's okay. Is this the run? Yes, indeed it is, Osvaldo. For the 33rd something time this is the run i feel it there's no way i could be wrong 33 times in a row the 
does the tail do, I wonder? It's very good at stabbing people. Actually, <laughs> even just today, it was very good at stabbing me. And he's a little bitch more like. I mean, we, we all know that. We just don't say it out loud, you know? Yeah. Let's take a nice little jaunt over to the top of the staircase. We need to wait for all the enemies to die, and then we should be all good. Only dukes I know are the dukes of hazard, as you should. We name the alien. Everyone I know gives him a different name. His name's Steve. And uh, I don't know. I don't know about the other people you watch, but I would like to think that my name is Cannon, just because it's so fitting. Uh, Saints Row is 30 to the 10th, the last 30 attempts. And that's the unspoken, uh, pact here. We don't say that part out loud. Oh, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie over there? That's okay. There should be, like... What else is there? Okay, well, there's definitely one more. That'll be known as Steve, indeed. Thank you, Tater. Oh, he's still here. Okay. Well, he's done with his shenanigans, though, so that's good. Steve is such a stalker. Yeah. I mean, let, maybe we've been going about this all wrong, chat. Maybe what we need in order to, like, actually beat this game is to finally get a restraining order on Steve, you know? I really thought about this. Where is the Sevastopol legal office? Maybe that's, like, the secret way to beat the game, you know? Which alien is Benny? I'm sure there was a Benny. No, we have Bob later on though. Maybe Benny's one of the aliens that's in the hive. We haven't really named those ones yet. But we have Steve until chapter 11, and then chapter 11 and through like 14, or 11 and through 13 don't have any aliens. And then we have um, two aliens in the hive that we have to deal with. And then from chapter 16 on, chapter 15, ooh, wait, actually, who's the alien in chapter 15? That That's also gone unnamed so far. Chapter 16 onward is definitely uh, Bob though. Corsay, thank you for the prime, dude. Appreciate the bald man's money. Not that bald man, but the other one. Thank you so much, sir. What's the NFL wants to forget the chance? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they have Aaron Rodgers this year. It could, you know, potentially not be a shit show anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to be worse than having Zach Wilson as your quarterback, you know? Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Path of Pain officially took me six hours, 54 minutes of game time. Ole mole. Undertale till still harder. I mean, Undertale is supposed to be pretty hard though, right? No. No problem. Okay. Open sesame. And we ball. Maybe we can just get to a solid... Dude, I don't know. Where should we kind of... Let's get to chapter five. I think that's probably like a good spot. Who has Aaron Rodgers, I mean? The Jets. Oh. Path of Pain is supposed to be hard too. Well, I mean, I know that. But I mean, like, Undertale is an entire game, whereas Path of Pain is kind of like a section of a hard game. Even though it is really hard on its own, you know? I'm a Ravens fan, hoping we get our money's worth with Lamar. I'm hoping so too, dude. I kind of like Lamar. It's kind of a shame that after that, like, 14 and 2 season, though, that nothing has really happened, <laughs> you know? Okay, open and more scrap. Okay, not necessarily against that. Easy. Let's go with Raiders. Raiders fan. Okay, gotcha. I mean, you know, hope you enjoy Jimmy G. <laughs> I mean, aren't are the Raiders like contending or supposed to be contending this year? Are they going through a rebuild? Because I imagine it's the latter, right? They're trying to get like a good draft pick. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Sam, a Packers fan? Confirmed. That's been confirmed. I'm a Packers Niners fan. 
becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you. They still have Devon I, they do still have Devonte Adams, but I mean that can only get you so far. How about last year? Like baseball, I'm not the hugest fan of baseball. Like, I'll watch some of the World Series, but that's kind of as far as my fandom goes. Why don't you be inclusive and include UK sports? Okay, how about Arsenal? Am I right? How about that? Those guys are doing stuff. Let me tell you. Right, it's gonna be scary this year, brother. I hope so. <laughs> it's been so long. I mean, listen, the Niners have been very successful. Don't get me wrong. But like Jimmy G, as we all know, is just like not it. <laughs> And I'm really hoping that one of Purdy or Lance or, <laughs> God forbid, fucking Sam Darnold is actually able to be like an above average QB. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, Ayuk, Debo, Kittle. I mean, it's not our skill players that are the issue. You know, Come on. it's the fact that the person throwing the football until Purdy last year has just been like very mid. <laughs> and it happens to be a very important position unless your defense is like completely lights out and historically has been so like the only time you win a Super Bowl with an incredibly mid QB is when you have like a historically good defense like the, the Bears or the Steelers or the fucking Bucks in 2002. The Ravens in 2000, you know? And he, it's not even like they had a really good defense either. It's that they had like a historically good one. <laughs> and Foles took that. Okay, so Foles is the outlier because he literally played like a fucking man possessed during that Super Bowl run. So, I mean, even though Foles is normally mid, unless you have, like, literally one of the best QB performances of all time. Like, it has to be, like, an outlier performance because ever since Foles did that, he has not done that ever again, you know? Oh, fuck. Damn it. This is fine. <laughs> Down we go. What's up, Tima? What's up, Star Wars? Uh, how's it going? It could be better. <laughs> but this run right now has like pretty decent loot, so we're kind of running with it. The only sport I care about is Griff Ball. Uh, I see you, fellow Halo player. Offense wins games, defense wins championships. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily true either. <laughs> Because the Chiefs don't exactly have like the greatest defense ever and they're kind of winning a lot of stuff. Shit. Ravens used to be a Stax team, Sag dog. Uh, 2000s Ravens were crazy. I mean, 2000. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, wait, where's the defense of the 2013 Ravens any good, chat? I literally don't remember. All I remember is that my dad was really sad driving home when <laughs> the Ravens beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, thank you, Potion Smeller. Zero G basketball, that's always a classic. 2013 Ravens were really good on defense. Okay, that's what I remembered. I was not 100% sure because I thought maybe uh, uh, elite Joe Flacco would also be a counterpoint. But Joe Flacco always turned up on the playoffs, so, I mean... I don't know, he might be another, like, Nick Foles-esque situation. It was just kind of like an ungodly carry performance, just out of nowhere. Uh, so what's the full sandwich's lore? The full sandwich's lore? What does that mean? I think we barely pulled it off. We? Wait, Tobias, are you a Ravens fan too? Didn't that Ravens defense stop the Niners from making a lot of the biggest Super Bowl comeback ever? I believe so.
And then, uh, you know, even if that happened, though, there was like 28 and 3. How long after 2013? That was the 2018, so like five years later. It would have just kind of been irrelevant, I guess. Other than the Niners having another Super Bowl, which would have been very cool. For me, at least. <laughs> yes, sir. Maryland gang. Uh, I didn't know that, actually. Blacko is never making a Super Bowl again. I feel like that is one of the coldest takes I've ever heard. But you are right. <laughs> Unless he's a backup. I mean, is he on a team this year? Because he was on the Jets last year, right? Just about 8.30? It is. We're probably going to wrap up Chapter 4, do some marbles, and then uh, GG it for the night. But at least we got like past most of the boring stuff in the run. Uh, the day. And we also like grind it, or grind it, he says, after he did like one reset. Until we got good RNG. So, I mean, our items are looking like pretty good. I did pick up the noisemaker, right? Okay, I think it is. That's good. Whoop! Do not turn around. I appreciate Flacco getting us there, but he's so washed, man. I mean, he was never really, like, that great until playoff time, and for whatever reason, he turned into, like, a dragon, so... All right, so we got Alien Drip coming out of the vent right there. And then he's moving to the next window, which means it's time to go. Do you think you'll beat Alien before I beat Pantheon 5? Uh, my heart says yes, but my brain says no. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay. Move it on here. Hopefully not getting seen by scary android man. Ah, fuck. All right. <laughs> Well, so much for that idea. <laughs> Talk about the Raven's goat, Justin Tucker. I mean, honestly, true, though. <laughs> I think every single team wishes they had a Justin Tucker on their team. Saints picked up Carr. I'm hoping for a miracle. With Carr? <laughs> it really would have to be a miracle at that point. Who knows, maybe the Raiders is just like a poverty franchise and then Carr was being held back with Devontae Adams. <laughs> you need a real wide receiver like Michael Thomas who is permanently injured <laughs> to really take Carr to the next level. Carr does seem like a really decent dude though. I just don't think he's like a quarterback, like a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Unless you have, again, like a literal generation-defining defense. I wish him nothing but the best, though. I hope he does well and gets, like, a playoff win or two again under his belt. 49ers need Purdy back and not injured? True, though. I mean, I'm really hoping that Purdy wasn't just, like, a spark in the pan, you know what I mean? Copium? I mean, absolute copium, but still. And the Raiders kind of are a poverty team. The Davis family only had their wealth to... I, yeah, that's... I mean, that's true. The winning for Snails fall at New Vegas mouse ball. Oh, right. I need to do that, dude. <laughs> I still need to find... I don't know if New Vegas is the greatest game to do that with. I wonder if there's like another FPS where it'd be more stupid to do it with that. Because <laughs> I, I literally own the mouse. I just need to be able to like get a run going with it. All right, nice and easy, chappy four. Love to see it. And a good end point for the stream so that we have exciting stuff to come. Uh, on Wednesday. Portal 2. We've already done Portal 2 is the thing, though. All right, let's get this loaded in. Let's do some marbling, and then I'm going to call it for the day. Honestly, very much looking forward to seeing what ends up happening on Wednesday. If I die early, at least we have like time for another run <laughs> in the same day, too. So that's good. Uh, 
All right, I think the door has to open in order for it to like actually count. Later, Downey. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for the foosball talk, my dude. No worries, dude. I, I like talking about sports. All right, that should be Chappy Five. Let's do some marbling, chat. Let's do some marbles. Call it for the day. And then we'll continue this alien on Wednesday. day, okay? Back, Nightmare Permadeath, starting at chapter five, hoping I don't die. This is the run. I think I covered my bases here. <laughs> Easy peasy, hi YouTube. Uh, alien isolation, continue game. If we're not at the beginning of chapter five, then that is a problem, because otherwise I might have to restart for the sake of continuity. <laughs> Uh, I think we're fine. I mean, I haven't played the game since I last did it, so it would be very weird if I wasn't at chapter five. All in slam, don't choke. To be fair, <clears throat> like sometimes on this uh, next mission, mission six in particular, I don't have a choice whether I choke or not. The game decides whether I live or die. I, I have no <laughs> say whatsoever. How is she? She needs treatment. And Mecca, thank you for the look earlier. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. Chapter six and chapter ten is RNG. Very true. A lot of it just kinda comes down to RNG at that point. Hide. All right, let's do a quick chapter five and we'll get on with chapter six and hopefully chapter six will not screw us over. <laughs> That's the goal here. Is that bodacious? Good luck, homie. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Disrespectfully twerking in front of Samuels and Taylor. Shame on Sam. Hey, brother. Or sister in this case. I would just like to say that if I have a gift that I'm not going to not flaunt it in front of those that I feel superior to. That sounds really bad. This is Ripley saying this, not me, by the way. Ooh, we got a next that doesn't count. Okay, some uh, some insurance for the believers. You love to see it. All right, let's see if we can find any items. That would be very cool. Imagine this is the run, the achievement doesn't pop. To be fair, I already have the achievement. I'm... <laughs> So I'm doing this for fun, <laughs> although fun is kind of a strong word, one could say. Is this a rerun? I thought this was supposed to be done on Monday. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know, I love this achievement so much that I decided to just get stabbed in the back in chapter 10 and do it again, you know? What can I say? I, I am just such a big Alien fan. <laughs> ABC, you're also looking absolutely amazing, my friends. You got me reciting numbers, alphabet, the entire works. If you want me to, because I am just a simp for you. All right. What's up, Aranan? Okay. Uh, nice, quick chapter five. That's what we're looking for today, chat. You're playing on Xbox or PC? I am playing on Xbox at the moment. How do we get there? Fun, he said in his 30th or more attempts. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't be doing this for 30 or more attempts if I didn't think this was fun, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> the next YouTube video, that's your exodus. I am now done with the script and I gotta get started on the actual editing of the, uh, the VODs and such. There were like seven of them for Metro Exodus. I, I forgot how long we took for it. It's usually with games where we just do like the hardest uh, difficulty on the story. It's like, I don't know. They usually take like four or five other than if it's like a really hefty achievement like Akuma mode or Dead Space 2. But uh, yeah, Metro Exodus is a long ass game. I completely forgot about that. When we get Plum out of the basement to edit, I don't know. Plum's actually going on vacation soon, so I have to do a lot of my own editing for this one. Even though I do do like a pretty good amount normally too, but. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, I got you, buddy. Uh, open sesame. That's how it's done, Chad. S three simple words are enough to hack even the toughest luck. Can you tell the alien is the prettiest, prettiest princess? That's actually unique, because I don't think we've done that before. I'll give it a try if I'm backed into a corner. Alright, some good old med bay run, and then we should be kind of good to go, unless we have a weird alien spawn like we did that one time. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Wait a second. I kind of goobered the uh, the number there. <laughs> Hopefully that does not have horrible ramifications for uh, this area. Did you do a run only using your feet in this game? <laughs> I don't know, probably not, but I mean, that would be interesting to see at least. I'm sure Flipsy can. <laughs> Yoink. What's up, Sammy boy? How's it going? Ask the alien for a 1v1. See, we, me and the alien have had 1v1s before, and every single time it's won. It's gotta be using, like, walls or something. It's ridiculous. Damn you, Coleman! You knew that thing was here! Alright, no weird alien shit. No weird alien shit. No weird alien shit. 1702, okay? Now let's get down to the dispensary! Of course, of course! A promise is a promise! Uh... Is that weird alien shit or no? Harkoon, thank you so much for the seven months. Nightmare Permadeath blindfolded when? When I can at least beat it non-blindfolded, probably. <laughs> that may have been the... <laughs> oh, it's not British. Oh, I see. What chapter is this? This is chapter five of 19. What's up, Horatio? Oh, wait, I have to talk to him. I forgot about that. Sorry, I'm antisocial. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Coleman. Have a good one, buddy. Enjoy your vacation with Axel. Bob Zander, thank you for the tier one for two months, my friend. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. What's up, Fussy? Of 19, damn I didn't know this game is so long. Yeah, low key, this is one of like the only criticisms of this game is that the fact that it just goes on for a lot. <laughs> like a first playthrough of this game takes most people around like 20 hours. All over ammo, it's not the greatest thing we could have gotten. Or is that? <laughs> of course. We'll take it. I'm half introvert, half extrovert. I think that just basically means you're a social introvert, right? Empty, damn it. That's okay. Actually, how much equipment do we even have? I forgot what our items were looking like in this run. I remember them being like pretty decent. But I guess we'll see. Isn't it just ambiverts? I've not heard the word ambiverts in my life, so maybe. <laughs> I'm relying on you, Chet. I'm just a vert. Hey, true that, dude. Okay, open, put the thing in. Now we just gotta hack the thing, open the vents, and then hope we don't get bad RNG. <laughs> this is basically the entire thing. You're a little Uzi vert, yeah. <laughs> I feel that too. Samuels, who's at Six foot five on my money. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Yeah. Uh, first part where I can potentially die, chat. Munka W. Thoughts on Ken from the Barbie movie? I haven't watched Barbie yet, so I, I have to hold my thoughts. I can't be spreading misinformation when I myself am not informed enough. Chen! Yo, thank you for the thousand bits! Thousand bits if you win tonight? Oh crap, I messed up. <laughs> thank you, Chen. I appreciate that, honey. 
Yay, I love violence. Me too, except when it happens to me, then it's very not cool, you know? Weird how that works. Okay. Uh, let's grab the Molotov thing. I don't think there's another item in here. Okay. Should just be able to get the code. Open the thing, grab the key card. Probably get my flares out too, because I need those. The key card. <laughs> there we go. Samuels. Cover your ears! Oh, the loud one? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Everything seemed very calm. She can either swear very loudly there, chat, or very quietly, and we got the loud RNG. I don't know what that means for this next part where I could potentially die, but... <laughs> you know, usually when we get the quiet one, things go pretty well. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's a good flare, though. That, that's gotta mean something, I'm sure. Where are these guys? Oh, they are passing right by. Jesus. Okay. I'm expecting that. <laughs> I think we're good, though. Samuels. The entire reason we throw that flare is to distract those humans in particular. So that when I run back, they hopefully won't be in the way of me. Because if they are, they have guns, and the guns will kill me in like two or one shot. So ideally, <laughs> you don't want to get hit by this. Okay. What's up, Mongoose Man? Thoughts on Ken from the 1994 Street Fighter movie? <laughs> now there's something I'm an expert in. <laughs> He's pretty alright. What's up, Virus? Good to see you again after not being banned anymore. <laughs> Okay, so let's hack this thing and hope that uh, we don't get murdered. <laughs> Wish me luck, chat. This is where the RNG kicks in and I'm scared. <laughs> oh, what's up, TRV? What's up, my comedy? Sympathize with the loud swear. Mostly very softly yell at the top of my youngs when I get scared. <laughs> okay, I need to focus. Do not go underneath any vents. Do not get shot by human. Do not go underneath any vents. Do not get shot by human. Do not go underneath any vents. Do not get shot by human. All right, first hallway clear. Second hallway? I don't know. Second hallway seems clear. I don't see anyone. I definitely hear the humans trying to come after me. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we've avoided all the humans, which is hog. A uh, good flare, dude. Actually, very cool flare. Thank goodness. I alerted like every single one of the humans, but they all got like sent to that room. Easy friggin' peasy, chat. And I haven't died in chapter six in so long. Uh, we're doing a speedrun of Alien Isolation. Not a speedrun, but I am employing speedrun strats. This is supposed to be a no death run. It's just the problem is, every single run I've done of this, I have ended up dying, which is, you know, goes against the entire purpose, one could say. Uh, I knew you were gonna make it. I would. I knew you believed in me. So I had to make sure to keep impressing you. You know what I mean? Sam got that flare about him. Thank you, TRV. <laughs> you sweat? I mean, it's kind of crazy, too. I must have that, like, gene. <laughs> Apparently, there are people who are born with just, like, um, uh, what do you, what should I call it? Like, way less, uh, propensity. Is propensity even, like, the correct word to use in this? Like, sweat way less than the average person. You know what I mean? I'm kind of so, not even kind of so jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> dude, sweating such a pain in the ass. I fucking hate being sweaty. Like, it's actually such a, dude, I went to hot yoga once um, because a friend of mine said it'd be really fun. And just the entire time, I just was drenched and it was miserable. I, 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 I don't know, dude. I hate being covered in liquid. Pause on pause, you know? 
Whatever, whatever the liquid may be, I'm not a fan. And sweat, like, especially. I, I hate it. Like, whenever I get a, even, like, a bit sweaty, I have to, like, stop to wipe it off my forehead or whatever. Until, uh... And then I just kind of, like, go about what I'm doing after. That's me. I never sweat. I'm incredibly jealous. My girlfriend's the same way, too. I, she, she... Actually, she doesn't not sweat, but she definitely sweats a lot less than I do. Alright, we're on chapter 7, by the way, chat, so it's time to pay out the bet. Get a good chappy 9 in here, too. Hopefully we get good alien RNG in chapter 7, and after that, hopefully it'll be, like, not too bad. I hate when sweat drips. Dude, I hate when sweat drips into my glasses too. You just like gotta keep cleaning them like every two seconds. Otherwise you can't see. <laughs> it's so whack, man. 142 points on a 1K bet. <laughs> yeah. That's usually what happens. Usually during alien runs until we get to like late game, the bets are pretty believer sided. <laughs> but at least you're earning money, you know? Do you even shower if you don't like being covered in liquids? No, showering's for cowards. I lick myself clean. <laughs> I'm like a cat person. Except without the weird cat person shit. Fun fact, most Asians don't have the BO gene. Damn. <laughs> Sag. <laughs> I want that gene so bad, man. Name is a furry confirms. <laughs> I just accidentally out myself as a cat person tough. You never know, though. Fur furries have done a lot of very amazing things in the past. They've also done a lot of very cringe things in the past. You just kind of have to fall on the right side of the coin. You can either be a Sonic Fox or you could be a 2008 era YouTube video. It's really up to you, you know? The two sides of the same coin. <laughs> I'd also like to clarify that I am <laughs> not a furry. But if you are a furry, live your life, man. Or a woman. Everyone's a little cringe, that's okay. That's true. That's a good point. I mean, I can't say I wasn't, like, completely cringe up until, like, a couple years ago, you know? It's always, like, interesting, too, because you you look back and you're like, damn, I was so cringe back then. I'm so glad I'm not like that anymore. And then you look back, like, a couple years later, and then you think the non-cringe version of you is also cringe. And you kind of get in this ever, you know, um, just completely lifelong cycle where you're like, damn. <laughs> I was cringe two years ago. Thank God I'm not like that now. <laughs> A little bit of cringe keeps you in line. That's true. I mean, I'm definitely not an advocate for bullying. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta be told that what you're doing is just really weird, you know? <laughs> like, there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. Uh, but, like, sometimes you just kind of, like, someone's got to be direct with you, you know? <laughs> How's the run? What's up, Vexy? Uh, it's going okay so far. I mean, we're not dead, which is obviously very good. You gotta live with the cringe, gotta coexist with it, true. If you make the cringe a part of your personality, then it's not cringe to you. But then again, it is cringe to everyone else, so you should be a bit careful. I occasionally go back and watch the Internet Historian Furcon video. You know, I've watched a bunch of Internet Historian videos before, but I actually haven't seen that one. Isn't bullying though, that is being honest. Yeah, but there's like a fine line depending on how you like approach it, you know? Makes new content, looks at past content. God, I was so cringe. Repeat. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Crazy. As long as you say true to yourself, it's based. Also, actually, kind of good advice. But yeah, you can't take that too far. Because if you yourself are like an imperfect person, you know? 
And then, I mean, there's always something you can improve on with yourself. And sometimes you'll realize that <laughs> what you've been doing before probably wasn't like the best. So be true to yourself, but also realize that what parts of yourself might not like, <laughs> you know, be helping you out necessarily. <laughs> It is Twisted Metal, except for- Ooh, wait. Uh, actually, a lot of people have been saying that the Twisted Metal show is, like, really good, right? Sam doesn't need to see it because he lived it. Yeah, I mean, trust me. I was a giant cringe lord. I I'm saying this from experience. Like, you should be true to yourself. Compression. But, like, you should also recognize when some parts of yourself, you know, aren't the best and can be improved upon. You know, you don't want to, like, blindly say, oh, this is just who I am, and then just kind of not do anything about it. Is there nothing in here? Damn, I'm not finding any loot anymore. I actually, I found the charge pack earlier, speaking of which. Probably craft another good old noisemaker. Oh wait, where are the SCJs? <laughs> I still don't have another SCJ injector. That's not great. Fringe witches. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I will low-key go back and watch some videos when I'm five years older and be like, damn, that is such a Terrible cringe joke. But that's just life, you know? The younger version of yourself is always more cringe than the older version. Or not always, I can't I can't say that, but you'll always see yourself as a cringier version. Your younger self will always be a cringier version of you in your eyes. There we go, that's how I want to say that. that that's just compound B, god damn it. Alright, at least we found another SCJ, so that's good. Nothing there. I know there's a uh, blasting cap over here, and we definitely need that for the flashbang. Definitely need that for the flashbang. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Waiting for that. All right. Very cool. Saying cringe could be cringe someday. It's just interesting, right? Because that's 100% true, but cringe is such like an all-encompassing word. That I feel like it's hard to like replace with anything, unless there's like some new slang. Like even if it is cringe to like say it later on, it's still kind of like, you know, the word to say about stuff. Remember Molotovs can kill you from longer range than you'd think. I know, trust me. I've been doing, um, I practiced chapter 17 after I died to it, and I'm pretty sure I died to like the Molotov twice because I threw it too close to me. So, <laughs> you're gonna 100% be aware of that. School starts tomorrow? Oh fuck, Jesse, good luck. Hopefully it goes okay. Cringe is subjective. It is subjective, yeah. I mean, some things, I, I, I can't say it's like fully subjective because I feel like some cringe is more objective than others. Like, over the course of, like, everything, of course, it's, like, all subjective. But the magnitude of subjectiveness definitely varies from thing to thing, you know? Yeah. Put this bad boy in, go to the elevator, easy peasy. Almost everything is subjective? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> There's definitely, you know, facts of the world that exist. <laughs> like, you can't just say something like, oh, this stripe um, on the door right here isn't red, you know? Yeah, let's do a quick run over here through the elevator, into the elevator, all good, easy peasy. I can if I'm colorblind. Even if you're colorblind, though, it's still red. <laughs> it's just you can't tell that it's red. There's a difference. What about the kids are doing right now? That stripe is blue. I'm not dealing with you people today. <laughs> and Double Mark, you're looking absolutely amazing today. Oh, something we can all agree is objective is that Devil Mark looks incredibly handsome, and there's no one that can tell me otherwise. Ugh. 
Is it actually red? I think that's a subjective opinion. It's definitely red. We have defined it to be red. But what's interesting though, is that my red not might not be the same as your red. Like, I don't know if this has been like proven or not, but it's always interesting to think that my green could be your red, but we both consider it red, even though it looks like a different color to both of us. It's just we've learned that that color specifically is red to our eyes, you know? Like, it is red. It is factual that it's red. It just might not be the same red to each of us. You know? Crazy, right? Philosophy with sandwiches. <laughs> I sent We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit I want to see all upstairs. colors, not just leg spectrum. Dude, could, could you imagine, though? Like, what if seeing all colors just puts you in that, like, weird fourth dimension? Where, like, tentacle monsters from... <laughs> Like a different universe just kind of come out of the woodwork and they're like a color. <laughs> it would blow my mind for sure if I was colorblind. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen those videos where I think Logan Paul even had one where it's like he puts on like colorblind glasses and he's able to see colors correctly like for the first time. Like that must be such a trip. And then, you know, the Mr. Beast videos where it's like he repairs their sight and hearing, too. I I, I can't imagine what, would be, what would it, like the world would be like with just all that new stimulus suddenly added to your life. It must be crazy. In another universe, you are a dog. In another, I mean, listen, if we're talking like universes, like infinite universes, you will literally be like everything and nothing at the same time. It's, it's really weird. I like to think, though, that my best life is in a universe where I'm like a cat and I'm just kind of like pampered by my owners 24-7. Actual me IRL. Hold that. All good. I'm not a furry, by the way. <laughs> this is not really helping the allegations, right? <laughs> I even said cat earlier, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually being caught right out handed. All right, let's get, hey, whoa, we need to get the android out of here. Watch the android do its thing, chat. Let's ignore everything I've set up to this point. Yeah, come on, get over there. There we go, slap him, get his ass. There we go. All right, now we just gotta stun this bad boy and we're good. Good, easy, chapter nine acquired. Thank you, excuse me, pardon me. All right, uh, hopefully this room will have, this is kind of like the part of the run where hopefully, there isn't usually like a lot of loot here, but uh, if there is, that would be like super helpful. Snap for Sona when? <laughs> Never. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. Dude, I still gotta do a maid costume, okay? A persona would definitely take ten times the amount of subs. Not guaranteed, though, so you can't clip that. <laughs> Even with ten times the amount, I would still be very hesitant. <laughs> that you, uh, is there really nothing in here? Damn. That actually kind of sucks. We had, like, a really good early game with loot, but then all of a sudden I'm really not finding anything anymore. It's a B-. minus. Uh, what's our PB for this game? The end of chapter 17 is our current PB. And if we can make it past the end of chapter 17, I feel very confident that that will just straight up be the run. Every single universe, I won't have a girlfriend. That's not true, Red Eye. I, I'm pretty sure you don't have a girlfriend now is because all the women you talk to are so overwhelmed by your attractiveness that it's just hard for them to get a word out and confess their love to you. You know? But you also have to be a good enough person to deserve their love as well. So that, that's also a very important factor in all that. Uh, no loot strat, nice. I mean, that's true. Honestly, I, I think we talked about this before, but like the runs where I get like a lot of good loot 
are the runs where I'm most nervous because I'm like, damn, I have all this good stuff. And if I mess up, I'm going to have so many runs where I don't have good stuff anymore and it's going to suck. So I really need to make sure not to do that. And that's like a lot of added pressure so that, um, you know, I feel more nervous in the big moments and I, I make more mistakes. Which sucks because it should theoretically be easier. All right, pull the lever. All good. Oh, shit. I think I heard the alien. I mean... He, he, he do be crawling around, but actually, I don't think he's active in this area, which is good. I think that's just bonding agent over there, so I don't want that. I want... Yeah, I think I need more SCJ injectors. And I think I should be good after that, actually. Do I buy a next that doesn't count? Chat, probably not. We should be fine. Literally, the bet's about to end, so... <laughs> You would actually just be scamming yourself out of 5,000. Is it Fruit? We are on chapter 8, about to get to chapter 9. What's up, Jay Puccino? How's it going? Watch you all the time on YouTube. Wanna say, wanted to try and watch you live. Appreciate that, dude. Welcome. We're trying to do Alien on the hardest difficulty permadeath. Uh, we have been doing this for on and off for like six months. <laughs> but today's the day, so you've joined at the right time. Well, today's the day we make it really far, and then probably Friday's the day we actually do it, if we do it. But uh, other than that, I mean, could be. Could be. Could be good. <laughs> Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Alien must be, like, tee-hee. <laughs> Alien a lot of the time is, like, LMAO, because it's just laughing maniacally while murdering me. For the most part. What's the first you made it during your attempts? End of chapter 17. Uh, we made it to the weird hallway section. We have to keep going back and forth between rooms until you're able to escape the alien. Uh, and I died while trying to activate the generator because the alien drops, or I think the alien turned a corner. And whenever you're on like a uh, interactive um, thing, like a generator or like a hacking tool, it takes, so you have to do like an animation to get off of it. So since the animation takes so long, it's really easy for the alien to just catch up and kill you before you're able to, like, do anything about it. Um, I don't think there's anything else over here, so it should be all good. You cry yourself to sleep after failing a run? I cry, so I cry myself to sleep every night, so it's not really like there's any inherent difference. Let's see. Uh, compound B. I do not need compound B, dude. God damn it. Nothing there, nothing there. What if the alien just really likes Ridley but accidentally kills her? Listen, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me 30 plus times, shame on you, is what I have to say about that. If you're making the same mistake 30 times over, it stops being a mistake, and at the very least just becomes a pattern of behavior. <laughs> okay? I'm kinda done giving the alien the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, Full-time engineer plus streamer plus YouTuber plus girlfriend. One of those has to be fake. <laughs> Shut up, Waddle. Uh, nothing there. There's nothing in like any of the loot spots, Edge. Here's a pro tip. Avoid the alien if you want to win the game easier. That's a really good tip, actually. I'll take note of that. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Search. Nothing. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we found you nothing here, dude. I still need, I mean, I guess I can craft another SCJ. And then we have enough, we have like the bare minimum of noisemakers right now. That's like literally it. Oh, I need to craft a flashbang too, actually. Hopefully when we get at chapter 9, we can actually find some like good loot around here too. That'd be nice. <laughs> Have you tried sitting down with the alien and having a talk with it? I have, and everything the alien wanted to talk about involved murdering me. It didn't really give me the right vibe, you know? Kind of being a xenophobe to the xenos. <laughs> I think that is probably like the 30th time someone has said that to me. And it's true because fuck them. <laughs> My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. God, thank you for the four months, dude. Uh, Sam, you owe me chocolates for four months. 
Is four months like that big a milestone in terms of like our relationship, God? But you sure as hell found something else. What it is, out there? is what I mean to say, because holy shit, uh, your chocolates are actually already at your house, probably. Unless UPS has screwed me over. Just say no to the alien, he can't do anything, that's assault, LMAO. The alien already has like a bunch of charges, what's another <laughs> essay to it, you know? You get me, Lewis? In fact, like, it has what, like, 1,000 breaking and entering charges. Minimum. It probably has like hundreds of first degree murders. What else has it done? Loitering. That's probably done a lot of loitering. Okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. I don't think uh I don't think waving the magic police wand in its space is necessarily going to be very effective in changing its mind. It was self-defense. <laughs> Uh, listen, I like to think that if you're the asshole to one person, then they might be the asshole. But if you think everyone's an asshole, then you might need to have some self-reflection time, you know? And right now, with the alien murdering everyone, I feel like he kind of falls into the second camp, no? Some guy, thank you for the four months. Do you get, you get chocolates too? Brother. Before you even, I knew it was our four months preemptively, so I've already sent you the chocolates. I hope you enjoy them. Have you tried telling the alien no when it tries to kill you? Because then it can't kill you or it will be canceled by Twitter. Ever since Elon took over Twitter, the alien has been a lot more um, upfront about its views. So I don't think doing that is necessarily going to do much. Gold Snipes! You will look absolutely amazing. Uh, you are literally the gold standard for looking good. Let me tell you. You just, I mean, gosh, I, I honestly cannot get enough of you. So thank you for showing up today. Can't be an asshole if everyone is dead. See if I can find Sure. <laughs> you know. Alien is blue verified on Twitter. He can do whatever he wants there. He did pay the $8. That's true. Ugh. Alien is just freaking out because Sam leaks the Discover server. What is the Discover server? Okay, I'm not in the loop on this. <laughs> Have you tried to give I the alien a big Check hug? Multiple times and every single hug ends up with more? me being penetrated by its tail. So... Not, uh, you know, it, it's, it always tries to move a little too fast for my liking. Oh, it's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was a close one, though. What's up, guy? How's it going, dude? I don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. All right. I mean, we're just on the walking sim chat. Ask me any question and I will answer. Honest, you can't expect me to answer honestly, but I will answer it. <laughs> the alien is friends with Joe. Watch out what you say about the alien. Joe's, I've already contractually obligated Joe to play RE6 with me, so I think we're fine. What will you name your ship in Starfield? Ooh, that's a good, I haven't actually thought about that. Um... Stand back, hmm. and then I'll blow it. Oh gosh, I, 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 I can't say. I, I literally have to think about the name. Oh, I'm probably gonna be like sitting on the screen for like 15 minutes trying to come up with something. What's your home address? <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, it's a rent. What is your least favorite chat joke? Uh... I don't know. I haven't really seen anything that I don't really like, unless it's just like normally very weird for That's towing the line. <laughs> Follow me. And then I just kind of say it. No one says it again, so it's all good. What's your SSN? Uh, six nine six nine six nine six nine two. What part of California are you in? NorCal. If your mom's number became money, how many dollars would you win? 
<laughs> a lot. <laughs> What's the three digits on the back of your bank card? Um, I don't remember. Probably like a bunch of them. What's your Tindo bi Tinder bio password? <laughs> Just for the bio or for the entire Tindo? Tindo, dude, why am I saying fucking Tindo? <laughs> Would you paint your nails? I wouldn't necessarily be like 100% against it, but I don't think I could pull that off whatsoever. So probably not. You kiss your plussies goodnight. No, my girlfriend would get jealous. <laughs> and chat would also get jealous, so. Not trying to have a bunch of enemies here. Oh, best chat joke you have, Ligma. What's Ligma? Sneeve Jobs, please laugh. That's a pretty good one. How much did the sky weigh? Um, I don't know, man. Enough, probably. Would you do an Elden Ring Akumu mode? Akumu mode? Oh, Akumu mode would actually be kind of lit for Elden Ring. I'm not going to lie. Maybe. <laughs> actually, not off the table. I like that idea. <laughs> How much do you lift? Uh, I don't know. I've been really bad with going to the gym. I used to go to the gym like three days a week. Um, but a lot of the time, especially during the time, like the weeks where, um, I have to edit. Uh, I'm very bad about being consistent. So, like, normally I'll try to go three times a week, but then, yeah, on rough weeks it ends up being, like, once or not at all. Uh, that being said, enough stalling. My bench PB is, like, a 235, which isn't, like, anything crazy. But I'm at least in the two plates club, which is nice. You like vinegars? Depends. Uh, I don't know. I like balsamic vinegar. If I could get a... Is it a caprice? A caprice sandwich with some balsamic on it? That shit kind of bangs, I'm not going to lie. Favorite food? Uh, good question, actually. Uh, I like Indian food a lot. I always switch between like burritos and Indian food, just like generally. But I gotta go with Indian food for the time being. Indian food kind of slaps. How do you pronounce... You pronounce it caramel. And anything else is incorrect. Do you have any pets? No, unfortunately. Something big. Would you ever go on a cruise? No, I don't like the water. <laughs> being out in open water in like an ocean is terrifying to me and I don't like it. What's your favorite challenge you've done to date so far? It takes two with one person. That was really fun. What's up, Funkle? Got back from Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It felt more like a rap and hip hop Hall of Fame. It's kind of because, like, they've introduced a bunch of, like, uh, hip hop acts, right? And it's because, like, Rock's not in, like, the greatest state at the moment. But I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, dude. Clank! 12 months, dude! That's a year! That's a lot! <laughs> Thank you so much, you fellow handsome W. Thank you. What you touch. Ever played Subnautica? I did. I also got all the achievements in it. But I didn't like it all that much, to be honest. I'm not a huge survival game person. And Subnautica was definitely, like, had me on the edge of my seat because I just don't like open water. <laughs> Especially when there are scary things that could come out of the dark all the time. We're wasting time. Have a look around. It was a uh, now it's game company you hate. I don't know, dude. The start, the the payday two developers for the 360 can low key kind of suck my ass. Favorite <laughs> gym routine? I like doing chest and tries. Just because getting a pump from that makes me just like feel the best when I look in a mirror. <laughs> what is it? Probably went scuba dive. I would scuba dive like close to the shore. But, like, if we went too far, I would definitely be a bit nervous. I can see that. Shit. Video game series that you used to love but became worse over time. Uh. Pff, <laughs> Dead Space. Uh, what else? I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. I'm trying to think. There, there are definitely a lot of good examples of that. Battlefield probably is another one. Manzi, you look absolutely amazing, my friend. Just, I, 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 I am very much struggling to keep my eyes off you right now and actually play the game because you just look that good, sir. Halo is the correct answer. I, I, I didn't like four, 
And I didn't like five that much either. I kind of liked infinite though. You know, that's why I leave it off the list. I think infinite's still like a really good game. I don't know. The only thing wrong with it is it's like lacking content and the story was kind of not the best. But like infinite's fun as fuck, dude. Oh, we got an ad break? All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> chat, an ad break has been redeemed. So if you are a non-sub, I will see you in a minute and a half. We will not do anything in the game that's like relatively important whatsoever. So you will literally not miss anything. I apologize in advance. It must be done though. The points have been spent. I'll see you soon. It's okay to throw while they're out. <laughs> it's not. I mean, we will continue on the walking sim, but once I get to chapter 10, I'll just have to pause until the ads are done. <laughs> I loved Halo 4's story. You see, people said the thing about Halo 4 is like people were like the multiplayer sucked, which it did. The multiplayer was hot doo doo. But then they said the, the story was really good. I don't see it, man. Halo 4's story is also not great. At least to me. I don't know. Like, every, like literally everything about Halo 4 was just, like, so mediocre to just not good. <laughs> oh, the Circus Clowns who subscriber here? Hell yeah. <laughs> we won't want it any other way. Cheat your red horns if you agree. The didact wasn't interesting, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, I always hear people being like, yeah, I mean, Halo 4, the, the story was like a redeeming factor, but then uh, uh, the multiplayer was the thing that sucked. I'm like, no, it didn't. The story kind of, like, other than like the, the Cortana and uh, like chief interactions, everything else about the story sucked. And then the enemies weren't fun to fight against either, dude. The Prometheans are such a dog enemy to go against. I'm literally just like dreading doing my Halo 4 lasso playthrough just because I literally hate fighting Prometheans. They're th th just the worst to do it. They're the worst to play against. So like immeasurably unfun. We're back, baby. Nice. Okay, huge. We continue. Here's one bit. Use it to buy a PS5 and Spider-Man remastered. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. <laughs> I can appreciate what they were going for in Halo 4, but it doesn't hold a candle to a bunch of games. Absolutely not. The didact was super interesting in the novels. That's the problem with the 343 ones, is like, they 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 did the Marvel Cinematic Universe fallacy before Marvel even did it, right? They just assumed uh, that the people playing Halo 4 um, read all like the extended universe shit and expected us to just kind of get it, especially with Halo 5. And it's just like, that's not how it should work. Like you should be able to go into a Halo game with, you know, immense commercial appeal without having to have read like 10 comic books and three short series and a fucking podcast, you know? Like it should, it should be able to hold up in a zone, you know? It's a good thing I can't run another ad break for like 30 minutes, so you guys are safe for now. <laughs> I will have to be reminded, but literally I, I, I physically cannot run another one at the moment. <laughs> Absolutely scammed. Uh... Ah, uh, Romeo, what's up, dude? Uh, hey, man, no, this will get me banned, but I uh, really want money for a Where's gaming setup. I don't have a PC. It's been broken for a bit. I don't think auto. this is the right place to ask, man, but I hope you're able to Not find something. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait, my in the text by the Nothing there. It's here. Plan B, set it up. Whatever's happening, Nothing there. I God damn it. it. Dude, there's no items anywhere. <laughs> I'm literally just not finding shit, and it is very sad. Oh, that's uh, compound B. Okay, well, <laughs> I should have known. 
What happened with the A? I don't know, chat. That's a cliffhanger. You have to keep watching to find out. <laughs> Even though I'm going to skip every single cutscene after this, too, so you're not going to find out. <laughs> Snam, I hope you die in chapter 10 again. <laughs> Fancy, I hope you realize that I have immense power over you. I'm not afraid to be a Snam tater. Better watch your tone with me, young man. <laughs> Alright, uh, is there anything in here? Maybe? Oh, never mind. <laughs> not even maybe, just like a fat L. Ooh! Oh, dude, okay, flamethrower fuel, we'll take that. Thing works. Actually, not bad. You know, not finding anything for two chapters for the sake of 25 flamethrower fuel is honestly not terrible. <laughs> I'm not necessarily against this. There's just nothing going on here, that's tough. Okay, well. Oh yeah. Open sesame. Who needs items when you have a wrench? <laughs> uh, me. <laughs> I need items, actually. If, you, if you're not going to use your items, though, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take them. <laughs> Definitely not against, you know, yoinking some items here. What kind of engineer? I'm a met metrologist. They pay me to hang out, and that's it. Everyone knows how to measure shit. <laughs> that sounds pretty lit. I am a mechanical engineer by trade. Sam, payout, please. Well, we're not on payout, are we? Did I already do that? Oh, yeah, huh. Okay, well, fair enough. <laughs> Man, I thought I paid that out like so long ago. My bad, Jet. <laughs> Start the prediction! Alright, time to go to the spire. Jet! <laughs> It's chapter 10 time. Time to potentially die, but hopefully not. Got sushi on route? Dog, I'm hella jealous, actually. I would love some sushi. Thank you, driver. I'm feeling good, chat. The call button is glowing green, which can only mean good things for the run. If it was glowing red, that would be bad, because red, bad, green, good, you know? My comedy, you're also looking absolutely fantastic today. I mean, the only green light I will abide by is the one where I get to get closer to you, my friend. Because you look gorgeous. Got chat. It's Monka W time. Oh, we got a full send to cancel out. <laughs> the next step doesn't count. Wild. What's the rule of full sends and next deaths don't count again? So obviously we can't full send in a permadeath run. So what we can, so all all um, full sends and next deaths don't count are just bet related. So someone can redeem a next death doesn't count and we just replay the level when I die and if I beat the level, then we pay out the believers still. But a full send will cancel out and next death doesn't count. In case man, nine months, dude, that sub baby. I've been here since you first, first took this challenge on. I know, dude. Thank you for the nine months. I will do this this time for you. I have full confidence in my abilities. Opium. <laughs> Watching Sam play World at War on Veteran reminds me of finishing Realism on Black Ops 3. I still need to get around to Black Ops 3. That's something I want to do because everyone says Black Ops 3 Realism is like the hardest thing you can do in single player Call of Duty, as far as I'm aware. Alright, well that all next step doesn't count also got cancelled out, so that's fun. <laughs> Ooh, SCJ injector, let's fucking go. Alright, we're finding items again. Suddenly things are rebounding for good old sandwiches, chat pog. Uh hopefully we can find some more stuff though. I mean, I'm just going to be a greedy goblin here and say that <laughs> if I can find more stuff, I will gladly take it. <clears throat> there might be some stuff up here on the tables. Although, that's not exactly like the most likely thing ever. Oh, wait, hold on. Another SCJ? Damn. <laughs> that's actually so sick. Pixel, you look absolutely... It's honestly paradoxical how you can look so good. And wait, what's a paradox? Oh, dude. Okay, okay. 
it it does make sense or doesn't make sense oh shoot so i can't use that uh pixel you look absolutely amazing today i was gonna say something smart but you're you're making my brain go dumb with just how good you look dude my my, my mind cannot comprehend anything other than your good looks how are we gonna seal it in is this dlc no it's the main game was it wicked I do have, okay, I have my flamethrower out, that's good. I need to make sure I keep that out for the server room, at the very least. And we're gonna hope for the best. This game has neglected you so hard on loot because it's testing your loyalty, it's rewarding you now. <laughs> True. Good point. And Pixel, thank you for the Prime too, dude. Not only incredibly handsome, but incredibly generous with Jeff Bezos' money as well. Love to see it. Thank you so much, man. Uh, nothing there. I don't think I'm gonna find anything else in this room at least. I gotta open the door first. Sag. Okay, so let's do that. Hacker man's. Uh, it's near this. It's near the flashback sequence. This is right after the uh, flashback sequence. Actually, go on. Love opening doors. What can I say? I can't get anywhere without it. True that, homie. Empty, nothing there, and oh, oh, I thought those were flashlight batteries. I was ready for disappointment. Well, blasting cap's not bad though. I'll definitely take it. Nothing there. Saw my flamethrower out. Always have to be sure. Ever since the ordeal where I thought I had my flamethrower out, but I had my pistol and the alien was running at me. <laughs> It is like my duty to check that every five seconds, even though I know nothing has changed. Nothing there too? Damn, okay. Uh, I don't think there's usually anything in here. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the good old audio log said. Ah. <sighs> Do I buy next sets doesn't count? I don't think there are any available. As far as I'm aware, like three have already been redeemed. A lot of the gun worked. Alien, whoa, 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 be cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, if I could hold up the alien in a stick up, like GTA. <laughs> if only said. Empty. And anything here? Nope, eh, it's empty again. Uh, my hopes and dreams are empty, just like that box said. <laughs> that mean the next three deaths don't count? No, so all of them have been canceled out, either by the bet ending or someone doing a full send right after. So it's still, if I die, I pay out the doubters at the current moment, at least. Okay, time to actually have a finger on my left trigger again. Empty? Nope. Empty. Uh, bypass program. Get locked down. Okay. Now I just gotta loot one more room here, and then <laughs> we gotta go to the server farm, or I died last time. At least I know now that if the alien drops early, I really just kind of have to be super careful until I do the hacking thing. Again. I also got to make sure not to use my flamethrower in front of the android because <laughs> that would also not be great. Sensor? Okay, we take that. Usually the sensor is the thing that's like super overabundant in the playthrough, but now it's like normal, which is very weird. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be in the room, which is good as long as he's not next to the android. Where is he? Might drop right here, actually. I think he's over there. If he goes back in the vents and drops behind me again, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, actually. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, better than last time. <laughs> he was approaching, but we did do the thing fast enough. I heard him drop like far away, so I was pretty confident that he wouldn't just drop right in front of me. What's up, Daryl? The button fingering. It's actually strategic, too. If you finger the button, you drop the, uh, the hacking tool, like, half a second faster. Alright, now we just kind of have to hope that the alien doesn't do weird stuff. Because usually you're fine in this part, but if he randomly comes over here... Dropped really close too. I don't have more time. Oh, he dropped really close. Oh, Ricardo, I need you to hurry the fuck up, brother. <laughs> oh, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Actually safe. Like, barely, though. <laughs> Dude, it dropped so close. It was, like, so close to, like, walking over here. Even if it does walk over here, it sometimes it just straight up doesn't see me. And, and that that spot to hide is, like, actually pretty consistently good. I think it's only ever seen me, like, once out of the 20 or so times that I've used it. It's still very scary, though, because there was that one time where it saw me and I had to use flamethrower all bad. Hey, Jay Pacino. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by, by the way. How did you open it back up? I had to suppress the alert. All right. To Time to use our first noisemaker. Let it out. We had it locked down. You let it out. Ripley, it's still on your tail. All right, so we need three people. Take the elevator to Gemini Labs. If it follows, we can still trap it there. Ripley. That's one. And then two, good. Where's the third guy? There he is, okay, perfect. The aliens over there, he goes towards the noisemaker, murders all those guys. I should probably start walking now Jesus. before the alien gets mad at me too. Damn. Ice man, thank you for the work, dude. All right. Two out of four hard things done. Very cool. Two more to go. Using humans as bait for the Xeno is human cruelty. Listen, they were, it was me or them. They were going to shoot me, is the thing. Those are hostile humans. I'm in Gemini Waits. We need that whole facility so the flamethrower out, good. <laughs> Always have to be sure. <laughs> Uh-huh, he said hard. <laughs> I'm glad to know that I have the most mature and <laughs> out of the gutter minded audience on Twitch. It's always good to have that reminder. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> What's up, Explicit? You plan on making a video out of these streams? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, wait for the camera. Okay, perfect. Then we'll grab the upgraded torch and we should be all good. In an FAQ for alien Sam. Honestly, <laughs> at this point, maybe. If this isn't the run, maybe I'll work on it like over the weekend or something. Uh, camera feed off, and then we just gotta torch our way into here. We should be all good. I remember the first stream I watched here was the Limbo stream. Why do you never upload the video to YouTube? I mean, I have usually what happens is a lot of the time the games I play on here won't become a video until like a couple months after. 
Because I have like a big backlog of um, games that are like already done. Like right now I have Metro, which Metro is back in March. <laughs> Uh, Limbo was, what, in June, right? That was relatively recent, I think. Uh, and then we have Spec Ops, which we just finished, and the Five Achievement Gauntlet thing, which we just finished. And then Dishonored, which was, like, my second most recent video. We did that back in, like, November. <laughs> so sometimes they just take longer because either A, I prioritize another video, or B, it's just kind of behind in the backlog. This R2 did take a very long time. What's up, Nemu? Same, you look amazing. Same with you, Daryl. You look absolutely fantastic today. Ah, uh, this is like easily the worst part of chapter 10, by the way. It's because there's like so many... The, the, the thing is that the uh, alien just kind of randomly drops down at some point during... Um, your adventure through this these like hallways and such so either he can drop like omega early and completely screw you over or he can drop really late and gift you basically free flamethrower fuel that you didn't have to use i think the most consistent way to make sure that he drops like relatively um favorably is to, like do this part as fast as you humanly can or at least that's kind of what I've convinced myself, which is why I'm just like walking everywhere instead of like sneaking whatsoever. Because usually when I'm like walking, he doesn't drop until I'm like back in this room at the very least. Whereas like before he would could like drop up here as I'm doing like the lever and that's always a pain. There was one time he was in this room and that was really cringe too. Okay. Was that a charge pack? I'll take that. I think I need another SCJ. No, I think I found SCJs, didn't I? Was that earlier? Chronicles! Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that, Ello. How's your uh, kitty isolation going? I'm on the hard part of chapter 10, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm also like omega focused right now. <sighs> oh, God, okay. I hate this part. I hate this part so much. Get there in time, that's so bad. Oh, he's around too, that's so annoying. He's gonna drop the. Drop in the cringe spot, that would suck. Is it the cringe spot? Good fucking RNG, baby. That is literally the best RNG you could ask for in that section. Oh, he drops after you get through the stupid electric thing. Is it still after you? I think so. I got a plan. Oh, you love to see it. Okay. Very cool. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. 
Oh, my heart, dude. That's that's always the worst part of chapter 10. Because that is like easily like the most unpredictable part. Everything else you can predict to an, a, like a degree. That you, is really just kind of like hit or, so hit or miss. Oh, yeah. Okay, nothing in there said. I don't think there's usually anything in those boxes, actually. I never go this way. Why, why do I go this way this time? I am scared of the dark. <laughs> Have we just noticed that it's dark in this game chat? <laughs> empty, empty, understandable. <laughs> Sad, though. Payout, pull. Uh, oh wait, do you need to do the pull? I didn't realize Flipsy wasn't here. Remember, you can use as much flame as you want here, just don't reload. Isn't it like, um, I know you don't reload, but like, I thought that if you used a certain amount of flame, even if you didn't reload, like, you start with less, right? Am I crazy? Like, doesn't it round up? Or something? Like, if you start with like 650, then you'll get 750 at the hive, but then... If you have like 350, you'll get like 450 at the hive or something like that. Or am I crazy? Are you at the point where the game doesn't scare you anymore? You know, that might be true actually. Okay. That's what I thought, right? Like I'm pretty sure like it it lets you have more if you don't reload, but like it still depletes your fuel from what I learned. I could be completely wrong though. Because if I am, I would... Oh my god, there's so many times where I should have used my flamethrower. <laughs> Are you to the point where the game doesn't scare you anymore? Pretty much, other than just the nervousness I have um, when I'm doing like a hard part because I don't want to lose my permadeath run. If I were just doing like a normal nightmare run, I don't think I'd be scared whatsoever though. Is it Summit? First time watching, I'm loving it so far. Keep up the good work. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. I'm happy to have you in stream today. Uh, okay. I need to do... Oh, Flipsy has a pull. Okay. Alright. So, we need to pray G that the alien just doesn't randomly drop super early. It's kind of the main thing here. I think we should be fine. I'm gonna double check though. Okay, <laughs> we are we are actually good. I'm sorry, Ripley. Ah, uh, this is so stressful. This is always so stressful when I get to this part. <laughs> Sandwiches once again. Wait, what did I do? <laughs> I haven't done anything bad yet. <laughs> like, I, eventually, I'll probably do some scammy stuff, but I, I'm innocent right now. Ooh, pork bond me sounds super lit. <laughs> All I can think about is food. I need to think about the run, chat. What am I doing? Fuck. He drop. I don't know where he is. Okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Why is he running? Uh, 
And we're good. <laughs> and we're good. Ah, <laughs> uh, you truly love to see it. Pay out the believers. That's a good old chappy 11. Eladio, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Have a good one for the rest of the day, my friend. That's a true story. Oh, uh, I will gladly take that get up and stretch. Thank you. Actually, low key, the ads are back now, so I do have to redeem uh, Vanzi's earlier uh, ad break thing. So we do got to do an ad. I also got to pee. So, I mean, it's good timing. Uh, Vansy redeemed do an ad break like half an hour ago, and I couldn't run ads until now. So this is good timing. So I'll be right back. We're not going to start again until the ads are done. This is Vansy's fault. Please throw him under the bus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't be mean to Vansy. Otherwise, you're going to get on my shit list. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to use the bathroom. See you in a sec, chat. <laughs> Ugh. Hello again, chatters. Has anyone gotten number one for hotness? I think someone's gotten number zero before, but has no one, I don't think anyone's gotten number one. We've had a lot of IQ zeros too, actually, which is <laughs> not great. Not exactly very good to promote your stream, <laughs> where watching it makes you just immeasurably dumb. <laughs> What's up, Adam? Good to see you. All right, chat, I think it is time to once again uh, continue the game. The ads are done, right? All non-subs can watch, correct? Yes, big thumbs up on the watching thing. I'm just getting a lot of people trying to figure out their IQ. We back? All right, sick, good to hear. Hello? I don't think anything super crazy is gonna happen in the next 30 seconds anyway, so we should be fine. All right, let's see what we got here. We yes, got another, please. dude, I don't want your me, fucking compound V. I'll take the flare though, actually. That could be useful. Thank you, Black Crush. Open Sesame. What's up, Mars? How's it going, dude? Okay, let's open Sesame and hopefully find like a few more things. I can run here, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I'm just walking. Alright, check this room, because this room might have something. Oh, nope, damn it. Okay, well, <laughs> that's tough. Alright, now it's time for the actual... Now, now that Frank... Well, hopefully Frank won't be a weird, weird guy again. That would suck. But if Frank is out of commission, then this is pretty much like the only RNG part of the level now. We just kind of have to hope it's not a human spawn. Because <laughs> if it is, that's tough. Let's see what we got going on here. There's no movement, which I think is usually pretty reassuring. Because the humans might just be like on the case. Whereas the androids I know are just usually not doing shit. Can't tell. Did we get a no one spawn spawn? All 
I think we got a nothing spawn. Okay, this is good. Did get a nothing spawn. I'm not gonna go over there because there might be a human bag there, but <laughs> I think we I that's literally the best chapter eleven starting RNG that you can possibly get, which is sick. Okay. <sighs> that's good. That's good. Now I just have to do this correctly to make sure not to piss off Frank. I just have to remember the strat, and we should be okay here. No thanks to wait. So if I alert Frank, it's pretty much GG off rip. Uh, that's some revolver ammo. That's never spawned here before, actually. That's weird. I mean, I'll take that. You got me out again. I'll see you back at the bureau. All right, let's go. Uh, time to do scary chapter 11 stuff, and then ch scary chapter 12 stuff, and then decently okay chapter 13 stuff, and then very scary chapter 14 stuff. I've already gotten my best um, run ever has been to the end of chapter 17. But if you can beat the end of chapter 17, the rest of the run is just omega doable. Like, the end of chapter 17 is literally the hardest part in the game, and then after that, so long as you still have resources to use, it's, um... It's really, really likely that you'll finish it off. But if you don't have resources to use, then chapter 18 can be kind of a mess. It really just kind of depends. You alert Frank, he can retreat safely downstairs once you're undetected again by everyone, and Android would go up top and kill everyone. Interesting. Because usually, like, if I alert Frank, I try to go back, but then the Android's, like, right behind me. But I, I found, like, a strategy that seems to work, like, pretty consistently. But I will keep that in mind just in case I see Frank again. <laughs> Chapter 17, death was tragic? Yeah. Basically what happened was I got on the generator, and right as I finished using the generator, the alien turned a corner on the other side of the room and saw me. And before the animation of me getting off the generator finished, I got stabbed. <laughs> which is tough. Which also sucks because I had a lot of like resources I could have used, but I, I I was too stringent in following the guide and I just completely forgot that I could even use a noisemaker to make sure that the alien didn't follow me. And I thought I had time, but I didn't. It was all bad. Some Z money. I don't know what this game is, but this game freaked me out to, uh, to actually play it myself. It's really good. If you can get over your fear of it, I highly recommend it. But I know it's like a, too scary for a lot of people, so that's super understandable. Case your strat doesn't work, you safely retreat far back you can. I would. Okay, gotcha, Chronicles. Thank you. It's, it's What's going on the hey, Daryl! Thank you also for the raid. Hope you're doing well. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. Did you just do like a very short stream? Is that kind of what happens? Uh, it's one of the few games that actually held tension pretty well for me. No, this is like a god tier game. I agree. Like it's very tense, especially your first time. At this point, I'm kind of like desensitized to all like the, you know, scripted scares. But like the scare of the alien possibly ruining your life is always just, yeah. <laughs> Let's also hope that we don't have a random human run in here again. <laughs> Cause that also sucks. Still so many more, oh shit. All right, let's check. Uh, ooh, hello. <laughs> Fucking Android right there. These are funk. Okay, we're fine. No item there. Okay. Wait, for God's sakes, Apollo's like the androids off the leash. They're attacking on sight. I don't know what the hell this is. They're not just responding to trespass violations. It's like they're. Honey. For everyone and anyone. What do you mean? Stand by. I'm sorry, chat, for not talking. I'm super focused. I have my revolver out. This is good. Uh-oh. Wait, that could be bad. 
Oh, fuck. Wait, I've got some security shutters in my bag. Can you open them? Wait. Oh, I might have fucked this up. Oh, no. I guess we'll see if there are, like, people running down. Could have honestly just fucked this up. Uh, I think that worked. He was definitely behind the box, though. <laughs> he definitely was not behind the box that time, but we're okay. <laughs> That's why we crapped the flashbang, chat, even though we have the new strat, for that literal exact reason. <laughs> Oh my, okay. Well, we got past him. That's all that matters. <laughs> Everyone was always telling me, oh, Sam, why do you still craft the flashbang if he's just gonna be behind the box? That, that's exactly why. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I thought the flashbang didn't get him at first too because he was just kind of like standing there. I'm like, oh shit, it didn't hit. I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my God. Oh, we're okay. We're alive. Thank goodness. Ooh, shotgun shells. I actually haven't looted any of these people before. Do they have loot most of the time? Crit. Crit, all dead. Ricardo, shut up. I'm looting dead bodies. Give me a second. Why? Why the fuck? Damn it. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll take the extra shotgun shell. Not against that. Snam, I am leaving you. Vanzi, you're a doubter. <laughs> this is your own fault. I need to find him. Have you seen Taylor and Marlo? No. He was standing there <laughs> menacingly. I think they may have got. I mean, seriously though, dude. I thought he was gonna whip out his gun at any moment. I was like, I'm not shot yet. I need to do everything I can to like continue to not get shot. And I was just like taking the weirdest pathing, trying to like beeline. I could have looted like two crates in there that sometimes have stuff in it, but I'm just gonna like. Ricardo. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, I gotta live. <laughs> Lock the fucking doors and don't let anyone in. Look at up, Ricardo. I'm grave robbing. Thanks. Someone finally gets it. And sexy nasty looking incredibly sexy nasty as always today. I also had to. Oh my god. I forgot to trigger the. Uh, I forgot to trigger the 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 audio. Or with weights, and I just didn't back up enough, and I completely forgot I was supposed to be doing that. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, is there? A oh, am I gonna get two androided? I'm probably gonna get two androided. Damn it. I've gone broke, I've used it all. <laughs> this is your own fault. Okay, let's not call the thing yet. There's also probably gonna be a second android, which is annoying, but whatever. This is gonna have to train him. Yeah, there he is. I. <laughs> Damn it. This is so frustrating. Just don't tell me what to do. Alright, steady now. <laughs> Brother, you're starting to test mine. I gotta call the stupid train and you're not helping. Oh shit. I almost got stuck on something. <laughs> not gonna lie. Where'd the second one go? Why <laughs> is the second one always lagging behind? Oh, don't, don't go that way. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> Uh, this is a COD Zombies stream now. Yeah, I do got a train going, you know. All I need now is a ray gun. Probably a Wonder Waffle, actually, if we're getting to those higher rounds. I was actually uh, watching a video essay on the Call of the Dead um, Zombies World Record <laughs> the other day, chat. Even though I, I ha literally have, like, nothing to do with zombies anymore. It was just really interesting. Apparently, like, the highest round you can get to on that level is, like, or at least on the 360 console version or whatever, is, like, 80, 80, 80, like, 6 or something. 
Like, that's the record. It's because the game gets so immeasurably laggy due to the zombies, like, taking up so much, like, memory that um, it literally just, like, freezes your game. All right, that's a Chappie 11. All done. That was a little bit of a scare there, but we finished. And now we're on to chapter 12, which uh, also has some scary parts, but is not inherently as scary as like chapter 10. Still very scary though, so. <laughs> Happens in 12. There's the Android showroom in 12. There's also the uh, the Android uh, uh, sleepover that we have to deal with. All right, new bets up. Have you tried slapping Frank's forehead? It might work. <laughs> well, thankfully Frank was not the issue here, so that 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 that's fine. We're okay with that. I need you to focus. You're in charge now. Thank you, Sophia. What if I told you you can do the nest 100% consistently without using any flamethrower fuel, having too much fuel? Rate. Really? Can you? Wait, I'm kind of curious. How, how do you go about doing that? Because at the very least, usually how I do the nest, I need to use it once minimum and like a couple times max. Bro, why you no die, Snam? Dark Knight, vote believer. This is your own fault, okay? I'm not taking any responsibility for this. Pulver ammo, okay. It's usually like a bunch of loot. Um, over in this room, hoping for the best here. Iris, what's up, dude? Ethanol blasting cap. Uh, charge pack? I'll definitely take a charge pack. Actually, I could probably craft another noisemaker now, which is good. Always glad, happy to have more than one. Vulver ammo, another charge pack. If I can find another SCJ and another sensor, I might have like enough noisemakers where it's like I might be able to do chapter 17 Omega save. Let's see, nothing there. You need to go into the computer. Empty. And empty. Okay, well. Always doubting for alien. Why are there so many doubters all of a sudden? Holy shit. <laughs> Did I miss something? Did they patch the game? If everyone chooses to vote against the majority, then who would everyone vote for? <laughs> you know, I mean, realistically, it depends on... This is the wrong path. Yeah, shoot, the <laughs> wrong way. Like, wouldn't realistically, like... Ooh, okay. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, <laughs> it would just be whoever's like in last place or in second place at the moment. And then you'd vote for them and then it would be a tie. Wait, who would you vote for in a tie if you can only vote for the majority? Would you abstain? Does that mean no one could vote? There are questions that need to be answered. How about despawning the second face hooker as soon as you see him? You go hide in the small locker and he despawns. You made no noise killing him. No aliens will drop other than the scripted ones that go up in the vents and stay there. You don't shoot. A pistol like normal, you keep making zero noise and no aliens drop until the last elevator? Really? Oh, yeah. I think the thing is, I want to try it. But like, I'm scared to, you know? I, 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 I only want to try it if I can like practice it. But that sounds really, really efficient. Gonna start my realistic Black Ops 3 campaign. Good luck, explicit. We should let me know how it is. Because I gotta do that in the future too. Uh nothing there, nothing there. Damn. Uh let's go say hi to Samuels. Oh actually, I think Samuels doesn't show up until yeah, after this room. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that. Please don't grab me, please don't grab me, please don't grab me. Thank you. Cardo, I'm here. 
looks like the place synthetics go to die. Feel that? Some guy in my chat sent me a YouTube link explaining the strat. It was an absolute godsend. <sighs> I want to do it so bad, dude. I want to do that strat. That sounds really efficient. <laughs> so what do you do? So you spawn the second face hugger. Wait, actually, wait, how do you even, how do you deal with the first alien? I'm definitely going to have to like look it up. <laughs> I have too many questions and not enough answers for me uh, to do it this stream if we get that far. <laughs> Uh, I need the shotgun. And then we will go ahead, turn this bad. Oh, wait, hold on. I thought I switched off the shotgun. Had to be sure. What's up, Yoma? How's it going, dude? Nice. All right, we open Sesame, and then we just got to beat the shit out of this android, and we're all good. Will you never need it, Sam? Because this is the run. True. Good point. Well, I'll definitely look that up uh, after. Because that sounds interesting. Sounds to me like a doubter ploy. I think Chronicles is one of my biggest believers. Just due to the fact that he knows the pain of doing this, so. <laughs> I think we actually kind of good. Nothing really in this room? There's always like something here. Got a big pump in the gym today. I can't relax my arms. How are you? Pretty good. What are we working today? It's my birthday this month. I'm simultaneously excited and terrified. Why would you be terrified that it's your birthday? What's going on? And Kev, thank you for gifting us up to Chronicles too. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the kindness. Uh, all right, let's pop one and a noisemaker per chance. Uh. Will Sam die for a cookie? <laughs> no, probably not. My ears blown. I can't get near. Open sesame. That's how it's done. Okay, now we get to Samuels. I remember this now. But if it was a really good cookie, I can probably make a really good cookie by myself, to be fair. Hmm, would Sam die for a snammy sack? <laughs> snammy sack? No, neither. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Got it. Uh, we're about to get to the room. That's kind of scary. Don't rush. Or Don Rush, sorry. Thank you for gifting us up to Suki, too. I appreciate that as well. Thank you so much. Like a Scooby snack, but better. You're damn right it is. But I still wouldn't throw the run for it. Uh, okay. Time for the part that I sometimes mess up on. <laughs> and we have to do some Benny Hill running around the room. Compound B. I don't want any more Compound B, damn it. All right, chat. <laughs> you know the drill. Hoping for the best here. Hopefully I actually hit the shot. <laughs> don't goober it. Line it up. Perfect shot. <laughs> Always got to make sure to line it up now. <laughs> there have been too many times where I mess up chapter 12 because of this. Oh, fuck. Wait. <gasps> I'm okay. They were spaced out a lot. <laughs> that was kind of scary. <laughs> Definitely a lot more than normal, at least. <laughs> I thought that guy was definitely going to grab me and I was going to get cornered. <laughs> they always walk like they want to sell you something. Hey, they're very convincing, especially when they have you by the throat and they're choking you out. I mean, you can't help but do what they want at that point. <laughs> What's up, Odysseus? How's it going? And Barlow, thank you for the tier one as well, brother. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you for the generosity. Never heard of that selling tactic? Maybe give it a try? Hey, you should, dude. <laughs> you can even use that to like advertise for your YouTube too. Just go up to random people, start choking them out. And listen, if uh, that person doesn't sub, you'll at least get some press coverage and have some people 
you know, try to check you out after they see that there's a giant psychotic potential attempted murderer on the loose, you know? It's kind of like a foolproof fan if I'm thinking about it. Might get a, I mean, just a little bit arrested though. It's not like you're murdering them, you're just assaulting them, right? Like you'll be able to get out and still be able to like capitalize on your success or capitalize on your fame, right? Especially if you're a repeat offender, ooh. Then they'll know you mean business, you know? Jail is only temporary, but a YouTube sub is forever. That's what I'm saying, dude. Y'all gotta start thinking like that. Uh, that's the secret to success. We're bored. what's up, dude? Are you gonna play Silent Hill 2 Remake? Uh, is it coming out for PC or is it just PlayStation? Because right now I do not own a PS5. <laughs> Is this the room from Monsters, Inc.? It is the room from Monsters, Inc. We're actually about to go see Sully uh, right ahead. It's kind of crazy. Weirdest crossover, but I mean, it works somehow. And Kaiba, not only do you look good once, but you look good twice, dude. I mean, you should have the Shin Kaiba 002, considering you deserve twice as many compliments as the next person. You look amazing today, my friend. Okay. Uh, uh, is that another SCJ? Nice. Cherry. Take a drink. <laughs> Nothing there. There might be something at the end of the room, though, which would be a very cool. I was lied to and deceived. Never mind. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't reload my gun. Yeah, that would be important. I love my PS5, it's great. No, I'm sure it is. Like, I know everyone who's gotten a PS5 is very happy with their purchases, it's just I don't own one. Anyone want my kidneys? It's not like I need them anyway. Ah, the life of a doubter. Living high off of one bet and all of a sudden their life comes crumbling down. You hate to see it, but I mean, listen. That's just what happens when you doubt, Chet, is all I'm saying. My dad works at PlayStation, so he'll hook you up with one real. <laughs> Thanks, man. Do I have to give you my social security number or just my credit card details? My dad is Mr. Xbox. That's crazy. <laughs> no way, I didn't realize we had Mr. Xbox's kid in chat. Oh my god, I'm blushing. I, I didn't realize we were here with a celebrity. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be talking. Us doubters are supplying your believers. That's true. We do need some doubters for a good stamp economy, Danzy. But thank you for doing the heavy lifting on that. <laughs> you think I get my mark money? True. Ugh. My dad is Mario Mario. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I thought he was John Mario. John must be his like middle name or something. Trade offer your social security number, birth certificate, and banking info for 10, 10 gamer points? That's kind of like a lot. If you add some extra zeros to the end of it. Okay, I'm kind of down. DM me. <laughs> My dad is Mr. Sega Dreamcast. That's like saying your dad was the CEO of Enron. <laughs> and we're in, baby. Hackermans. Okay. Uh, let's walk. Gotta make sure I stay like completely silent until I'm actually in the room, because I'm pretty sure I can wake up those androids early. And if they get up early, it's gonna be way, way, way more a pain in the ass to like actually escape. Yeah. Uh, where is Samuels? Why am I saying where is Samuels? I've played this game <laughs> over 30 times. I should probably know at this point. Otherwise, that's gonna be kind of a problem. A coom undertale? 
Uh, maybe when I actually do an Undertale playthrough, because I've never Send played that game in my life dangerous. yet. Yes, far too dangerous. Wish me luck. Samuels, don't. My dad is actually Frank. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I mean, he has a higher KD than me, so I mean, good for him, I suppose. How far are we? It was playing bully, got distracted. We are on chapter twelve at the moment. I am recording, right? That would be very awkward if I wasn't. We're good. Why is he going into the MRI machine? So the MRI machine actually connects him to like the AI that is running the station. I don't know how it works, but you know, we're running with it. Pre-recorded stream. I gotta make sure to like press play at the right times too. Because I also pre-recorded myself over the stream too. Like I'm not even talking to any of you guys. I'm actually in the bathroom pooping right now, I'd imagine. Uh, so I'm just kind of hoping that I'm getting like the uh, the signals right. Okay, red first. Hi, hi. That's not what I wanted to. <laughs> I hope that didn't wake up the androids. <laughs> I should pay attention a little bit. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Stop hooting, shooting holes in the ship. Is I, I didn't mean to. I, I was trying to jack off the lock or the generator. And then it, 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 it I pressed it at the same time and I think I just did it too early. Did the cable need you? It's not my fault, dude. It was an accident. Accidental discharge, you know. Saved. The real Snam would have died by now. <laughs> Although true, maybe we're just having a good day, you know. We. T chat, check this out. I'm gonna crouch and then spin a 360 once. Damn, he's crazy. No such thing as a good day? Uh, chat, we've accomplished a lot of things, thank you. Were they clean? Absolutely not. But we did them, eventually. I think it's soft log surely though, right? Ricardo. Okay. There if we you're go. there, pick up. You have the pistol, that's good. I'm here. I'm here, sorry. Time to go. Samuels is gone. Shit. Oh, you're already up. He Hello. I'm gonna go straight there. I'll get Apollo to lift the lock. You're also already up. I think I should be able to yeah, okay. Dude, I said I wasn't gonna play risky today and it just I did that. I need to abide by my own rules here. <laughs> Nick, you look absolutely incredible, by the way, today. Not only the, fr you, uh, listen, as your first time here and first time chatting, you're making a fantastic impression, especially with just how incredibly good looking you are. Still isn't that chappy 17, right chat? Yeah, we're still on chapter 12 at the moment. But so long as I don't completely throw in the next room, we'll be on chapter 13 soon. That was a 372 spin. I don't think anyone would notice. And Jariah, thank you for the lurk, dude. Pass, you also look absolutely incredible, my dude. Is the 16 in your name the year you won most attractive person? Because that's crazy, because you should have every year in your name, if that's the case. The location of the planetoid where you found the derelict. Uh, oh, there's nothing there. Okay. You just gotta make sure to, like, collect all the loot in this room before the android... Oh, fuck, I forgot to call the... Okay, well... <laughs> Open for the vest. <laughs> I forgot to call the tram. Um... <laughs> so, that's not good. Uh, I did grab everything, right? EMP, vine, yep, yep, flashlight batteries. Uh, revolver, shotgun. <laughs> I may or may not have uh, thrown a little bit. <laughs> I forgot to call the tram. <laughs> you 
He's doing the throwing thing again. <laughs> yeah. We might be okay. We might also not be okay, but <laughs> you know, we'll have to see. And Summit, thank you for the lurk, dude. I said, Cobra, a little late to the stream, what have I missed? We've been doing pretty well so far. We stopped, to, we started at chapter five. We're about to get to chapter 13, so long as the androids don't break in and murder me. I did grab all the EMPs and Molotovs. I forgot to check for that, which is also a mistake. Woo, man. I do love myself some alien. Pipe bomb is great when there are too many. Oh, I can craft a pipe bomb. To be honest, I thought I didn't have enough stuff. <laughs> That's good to know. I think we're fine though. Okay, cool. I guess uh, not calling the tram is not the death sentence. I thought it might be, so that's ideal. Let's go, chapter 13. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is Apollo an AI in this game? Yeah, it's basically like the core that runs the entire station. Mordecai, you also look absolutely ridiculously cute today, sir. It should honestly be illegal, but I'm not gonna tell. All right, chat, we're on chapter 13. Let's go! On to the next. Uh, anything in here, perchance? There usually is not, but it does not hurt to look. All right, well, it hurt my feelings a little bit, but. <laughs> There's nothing there either. Nope, nope, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. All right, well. It do be like that sometimes. What's up, Night Owl? We beat this today, I'll name my fifth kid after you. I don't know if I'll have time to like finish finish today, but I'll have time to like get by some more hard parts, which is good. Open sesame. Uh, Jazz Jay, also looking absolutely amazing. For someone born in 1903, you look just absolutely amazing. I don't know how you do it. You gotta share me with your skincare because you do not strike me as someone that is that old. Because you are beautiful. Turn off the electrics, take some deep breaths, squeeze. Gotta take off. No worries, Chen. Have a good one, dude. Chen! <laughs> Let's do this. Wait, what? Is it 3 0? Oh, my bad. <laughs> off to a good start. <laughs> he remembers the code. Hardly not to a live conjure is gonna hurt, though, right? I'll have to power it down first. Uh, anything in here? No. Uh, oh, SCJ, we'll take it. <clears throat> this mission can go to hell. This mission is actually like one of the easier ones, if you know what you're doing. Open sesame. I'm here for the aliens, they're my homies. <laughs> you're on the wrong team, dude. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Ooh, wrong way. <clears throat> you know what you're doing? Uh, I like to think so, but a lot of the time it's not very apparent considering I throw a lot, so, <laughs> you know. Nothing, 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 nothing tough. Okay, well, there might be something in this room. Hmm. Nothing, 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 nothing. More nothing. Okay. Tough. How much are the games? The oh, Jesus. How? This is chapter 13. Testy. Oh, the door actually opened this time. Nice. Sometimes you have to do that twice, which is really annoying. Asking for skincare routine when you already have perfect skin. I do not have perfect skin. 
Thank you for thinking so. Focus, 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 hocus, pocus. This is gonna be tight. Yay? I might get grabbed once here, depending on where the enemies spawn, but <laughs> now hopefully it won't be like too crazy. Alright, down we go. Uh, we need to go to the right hemisphere first, I believe. Yep. Okay, no android right in front of me. That's good. Uh, we're- Oh, you're so cringe. I'm gonna get grabbed. Yep, okay. Uh, lame spawn, but we're fine. Damage let's run over. Permadeath death run still effects. <laughs> we're fine. This is unfortunate. Uh, oh shit, I gotta do this fast. Just edit it out? True. Good point. <laughs> I didn't think of that before. I don't even have to be doing these runs anymore. Uh, where's the android here? He's over there. We're fine. Beep bop boop. Beep bop boop. Okay, that didn't turn green. That was scary, but we're fine. Beep bop boop. What's up, Maycray? How's it going? Alright, we're basically done with chapter 13, by the way. <laughs> That's literally the entire chapter. <laughs> What's up, 407? Um, internet issues? I'm, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, dude. I'm sorry. I want him to get aliens, not androided. I don't want either. <laughs> Can we go with option three? Possibly. Uh, okay. Uh, this way, all good. All good, uh, chat. <laughs> uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. My brain is farting all over the place. I do not know what I'm doing. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Just kidding. Alien hasn't shown up in a bit. That's because we yeeted him. And the alien doesn't show back up until the end of mission 14. So that's why we're able to just run around and shoot like crazy and nothing happens. The farthest I've ever gotten tonight is the end of chapter 17, which is basically like the last hurdle before the game gets like pretty easy again. And then you beat it. I also want Alien Isolation 2, dude. I'm like actually desperate. This is like the YouTube video, but live. True, dude. <laughs> Goodness gracious. On a road trip, so I'm on. De You're on a road trip? Sheesh. Wait, where are we going here? Hold on. I didn't realize I was also technically on a road trip. Music for this game is so the music for this game is phenomenal. Yeah. It really sets the mood. It's a YouTube video, but 110% more banter. True. <laughs> Honestly, in the YouTube video, I'm kind of the main character, but then when we actually stream, chat is mainly the main character. Then chat looks too good, so I have to cut them out of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Can't have them stealing my flair, otherwise people will know I'm a fraud entertainer. I get all my jokes from chat, and we can't be having that. At least I can hide it because it's on a completely different platform. Alright, that's chapter 13 done. Uh. Let's see if we can get a solid chappy 14 and be actually, like, happy. Do you steal jokes from chat? Um, not usually. I mean, if someone in chat tells a good joke, I usually include it in the YouTube video. Sorry, Ricardo, but I'm 
small fry. Do Alan Wake 2 Akuma mode as your first playthrough? As my first playthrough? No. <laughs> Will I do it as a playthrough? Possibly. Although it seems as though people weren't like as interested in Alan Wake as I thought because uh, the Alan Wake Akumu video didn't do all that hot. Um, at least over the first week compared to like all my other videos. And Floppy Flip, brother, looking absolutely amazing, my friend. I would do any amount of flips you wish me to uh, just because your, your, your good looks have just got me in a trance, my friend. I enjoyed it. I mean, the people who watched it enjoyed it. Um, it's just the problem is people didn't click on it because I think people just aren't that interested in Alan Wake. Or just like, I shouldn't say people aren't interested in Alan Wake because the people who did watch it were like, you know, Alan Wake fans and they really liked it. But I don't think people are like searching for Alan Wake stuff. Or at least they probably won't be until Alan Wake 2 comes out. Because the like to dislike ratio is like one of my best. It's just, you know. It's not getting a lot of people uh, clicking on it when it's shown to them. Is basically the main thing. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Dude, I- okay, hold on. I need to focus again. I forgot I even had to EMP here. <laughs> I can see you getting an extra surge when Alan Wake 2 drops. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what I'm thinking too. It's just, yeah, the, the initial is like, by far and away, like, the worst week I've had in like the last 10 videos, which is fine because I still had fun and people really enjoyed it. But now I just know that people might not be all, be all that interested in <laughs> Alan Wake stuff. Only heard of the game because of your video. I think that's the main thing. I think with like achievement and trophy hunting stuff, a lot of the time people will either click on the video because it's hard uh, and they've heard it's hard, but haven't played it or have played it and kind of want to like relate to the experience, right? Um, but the thing is, I guess a lot of people just haven't really played Alan Wake is the main thing. And everyone knows Alan Wake isn't that hard. Or it's not like notorious for being hard. And they don't really know that I, how hard or how much harder I made it until they actually click, which they didn't do, you know? I mean, it's like understandable why it didn't dupe perform as well but i still think it was like a pretty good video and the people who liked it liked it so i mean that's all good you know is that a flare you flare oh i gotta jack so much stuff off right now okay hold on I'm really hoping that that was a good EMP, because if it wasn't, that is bad. <laughs> so I should be able to at least do like a loop, right? I press the button and he's going to be right next to me. I knew it. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you, though. Oh, wow, I have a lot of flares. I didn't even realize that. I'm just going to go down here. Thank you, sir. Snam is starting gambling addictions. Yeah, chat, make sure to only gamble with free money, not actual money. I think that's a good disclaimer to put out. There is a difference between gambling and snambling addictions, though. This is true. Snambling pog, gambling dog. Unless you're willing to just lose the money. I think that's the best way to go about it. Like, gambling... If you go to like Vegas or something, it's a good time. You just have to expect that you, you have to use the money as an expense, not money as in like you're actually going to like earn money. It's sort of like going to a theme park. Like you pay the money to have a good time. And then at the end of the day, you will not have any more money. And if you view gambling through that lens, you should be okay. Although then again, I can't really say that from experience because when I went to Vegas, I went up money and was able to get a free buffet out of it, so. <laughs> Basically, just don't get addicted, true. How is it that hard, obviously? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I have two bolt gun bullets? I didn't realize. Excuse me, sir. If you could just uh, smile. Thank you. 
Does he get a cool outfit? All the Joes now, or at least most of them, get some pretty cool outfits, actually. Uh, nothing, 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 Sedge. Okay. Well, that's to be expected. Uh, nothing, 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 dude. <laughs> there is nothing anywhere! <laughs> I'm addicted to crane games. I love winning prizes. As long as you're not expecting to win all that much from the crane game, because those crane games are also like super rigged. Wait, what's the code for this again? I forgot. 6832, that's what it is. This is run good or a dud? We're still we're still live. Ugh. Although uh we are about to get to the hive, so. That's always a potential ender, depending on how the aliens behave in there. Apparently there's like a super duper omega safe way to get through the hive, but uh, I don't know the strat for that yet, <laughs> so I can't really do it. Would you rather be hunted by a xenomorph or a predator? A xenomorph without a doubt. Tell that filthy alien what for. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Prochacho, you're also looking absolutely amazing, my friend. I want you to be my bro so I can just get a good look at that handsome mug every single day of the week. Uh, is that... Okay, that's... Dude, when did I get so many sensors, actually? <laughs> Wasn't I, like, out of these things, like, two seconds ago? Am I crazy? As a bonding agent, don't really need that. Oh, okay. Time to do scary stuff. <laughs> Predator would swiftly kill you though. Alien would rip you apart. That's actually a fair point. I think I was going based off um uh the most likely I was able to just like not get hurt at all. But I do have to realize that both of them would most likely actually get away with murdering me. So I, I do change my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Predator, Predator might be the move here. Okay, let's hope, uh, let's hope these guys aren't giant jackasses today. Please turn around. Please turn, Please turn around. Please turn around. Please turn around. Please turn around. Thank you. Do I have my shotgun out. This is good. Turn around. That's also good, which means we can give him the old one-two. Uh, we gotta do two of these guys. Shit. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to run past one more. Sucks, but whatever. Oh, he slapped me. That bitch. <laughs> All right. The second one always seems to slap me, actually. I should kind of be a bit more aware of that. Can the bolt gun stun a xenomorph? I don't think so. And even if it could, the xenomorph would probably kill you before, way before then. Snam heal? I did not. I should probably do that, actually. I do have, like, a good amount of med kits where it's like I don't really need to worry about it too much. Uh, all right, <laughs> I have time. I have time with old strats. Oh no, God no. Ricardo, they're all here. Everyone that's missing, everyone. They're trapped in some kind of nest. There are eggs. It's, it's like a farm. Just get out of there. No. I'll have to restore power to the platform from the conduits down here. I'm so hard focused right now, chat. <laughs> Uh, 
of spoopy. Okay, first part done. <laughs> Second part, scarier. Flamethrower fuel in here? Is that a thing? Monka. Dude, god damn it. Okay, not dead though. <laughs> Woo! Nice, huge hive. We had to use like an extra flamethrower thing, but we did save some from before, so it's not like the worst thing ever. Dude, did you see those three bursts of the flamethrower though? That was pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. That was just crazy attractive, if I do say so myself. I'm not trying to persuade you out of this, man. I'd just like it if you didn't die. This is oh my god, I'm hitting all my fucking bursts. He's crazy with it. The local capacitor banks on each tower. I'm gonna burst. To discharge the system, the purge will be external. The nest is right in harm's way. I have no clue what you just said. Just find something to hold on to. Uh, did I reload my bolt gun? Oh, I did. Wow. Actually good at video games? Wild. Alright, let's see if we can find any more ammo before I, uh, waste any more of this. Oh, okay. Is this that guy now, right? Yeah. Be fine. Uh, don't give chat any more ideas. True, actually, my bad. Chat, you can still hear me okay, right? Like, I'm not being overpowered by uh, the loud giant generator that's exploding before our very eyes. So I'm still just like making sure that the volume levels are still like semi-decent, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Because when I was going through, I'm editing the Metro VODs right now, by the way. Like, that's the, uh, that's the video I'm working on. And, um, dog, the, the game is so quiet. I'm gonna have to really fuck around with the music in this next video. Because the game is, like, genuinely so, 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 so soft. That might be a four. I think we're actually... Okay, we're good. Never mind. We vibing. Uh, empty. Right. Your mic is muted? Nice. <laughs> then you can just hear the beauty of the, the generator, so I'm not too upset about that. Uh, 
okay. Metro Exodus? Yeah. That's the next video that's coming out. I am done with the Metro Exodus script, and now me and Plum just have to, like, go through editing everything. I can't hear you, Snam. Your face cam is muted. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. It is this one, right? Oh, thank God. Okay. I always can't remember which one has the one at the back and which one has it in the front. I want the one on the back last so that I can avoid all the androids. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. All good. To the Alpha Core. In chapter 11? No, this is chapter 14, Logan. We zoom in. Okay. Uh, 41. Then we go over here. Oh, uh, I hate, I hate it. When the stupid highlighted things are at the very ends. Oh, that makes me so annoyed. It's the worst part. This is the worst hacking minigame. By like a wide margin. Okay, and now all the enemies spawn, but if I press the lever in time, we should be okay. It's gonna be your next big challenge if you beat this. Uh, Halo Lasso is next on the agenda for like the very hard long-term thing but in terms of the thing that won't take me like 10 bajillion years it's uh evil within two better be beating this brother i've been trying <laughs> wait i did do the thing right okay yeah i did <laughs> not gonna lie chat i got a little nervous but we're fine <laughs> For some reason, I thought I didn't activate the thing down there and I was gonna get surrounded by the fucking androids. We vibe enough. Alright, let's take a nice little jaunt over here. Should be all good. Well, I'm in time. Is this the run, brother? I hope so. We got past chapter 14, so that's good. The next super... Actually, chapter 15 is kind of annoying. Chapter 16 is kind of annoying. Chapter 17 is the hardest one in the game. So... I mean, we're progressing. And <laughs> Into the sphincter. This room design is the same as average modern apartment anywhere in the US. <laughs> So if song ever comes out, would you consider streaming it? Or is it more like a for fun game? Uh, I would definitely stream doing the hardest achievement for it. I don't know if I'd stream my first playthrough though. It would really depend. Chat, we saved the station. There's no way that the aliens could survive a purge such as this. We've done it. Damn it! You should do Super Meat Boy. I plan on doing it at some point within like a year from now. Or not a year from now. Uh, within the year is what I mean to say. Super Meat Boy, uh, actually the world apparently wants me to do Devil May Cry 5 first. So once we once we get some progress in Lasso and we beat Evil Within 2 and Batman, uh Devil May Cry has to like appear on the list at some point. <laughs> we got it like literally twice in a row in a wheel filled with like 30 games, so <laughs> it's really just a matter of time. You think? I need you to get to medical. No. I don't remember where I'm going. 
I think it's this way. What's the farthest I've ever gotten to? The end of chapter 17. And if you're able to get to the end, or if you're able to finish chapter 17 with a good amount of items, then the rest of the game is... Uh, I wouldn't say like a cakewalk, but it's pretty simple. So if I can get to the end of chapter 17 or with like a noisemaker and a bit of flamethrower fuel, I will feel pretty good about my chances. But the problem is I have to get through 15, 16, and 17 before I even think about that. And 14, but we just finished 14, so we're okay on that regard. Wait, this is the right, this is, this is definitely the right tram, I remember this. I was gotten kind of far now, yeah, pretty much. If I didn't choke on the thing I choked at on my PB, uh, there's actually like a pretty big chance that I could have beaten it that day. <laughs> but I forgot to use some of my distraction items when I really should have, and I mean, you know, the attempt's still live, practice, we're still live. Although, I hate to say it, chat. <laughs> But I think we might low key have to stop for the day. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's already like 7.30. And I could beat chapter 15, but chapter 15 is going to take 20 minutes. And then I'll get off at 8. And then chapter 16 has like no ramp up period whatsoever. <laughs> So the problem is, like, if I start straight from chapter 16, I know I would choke the run because I literally would not be able to uh, get used to the controls again. I would, like, be super cold. And chapter 15 at least gives me this area where I can just kind of, like, not worry about being insta-murdered, you know? So chat, unfortunately, we're going to have to call Alien for today. Uh, the run is still live. We'll be starting from chapter six, chapter 15. And hopefully beating the game on Friday. But if I die, of course, I got to restart the entire thing. So hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right. Alien Nightmare Permadeath Part 3? 2? I don't remember. Uh, we're on Chapter 15. Things are going okay. Hopefully uh, this is the run. And if it is, it should be done today. If it's not, then, you know, it do be like that. Okay. Chat? Let's get into it. Oh, whoa, and I almost started a new game. <laughs> that could have been awkward. <laughs> All right, I'm not exactly in the best frame of mind here. <laughs> Already off to the worst start imaginable. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> you ready? I'm pretty sure if I just selected chapter 15 from the mission menu, it, it would be theoretically fine. But obviously, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, we need the revolver out, uh, from what I remember. Then we have to go this way, I think? Ooh, is there stuff over there? I am a big fan of stuff. Uh, bonding agent? Okay, don't really need that. That's a sensor, though. Very happy to take it. Okay, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> apparently. Wow, I have a lot more items than I thought I had. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my god. I really need to start doing this like all in one stream or something. <laughs> I don't have the time, but like... Dude, whenever I start a second stream, I'm always just like perma-nervous and I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you, cow. You still want Evil Within 2 to help in the future? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I am very down. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find anything around here, because there might be stuff. Speaking of which, all right, that's another sensor. Of course it is. We need uh, some non-censored stuff, okay? This is a safer work stream most of the time. So I'm trying to find, like, anything, like, super duper helpful. That would be cool. Or it's not stealing if you don't get caught. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dog. 
Okay. Is that a, surely that's not another sensor. Okay, that's a calculator. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't another sensor. We'll gladly take that. Prediction? Prediction's already up, Gillen. Where have you been? Are you playing amnesia the bunker? No, but uh, I'd be down. Thank you, Raphael. Safe for work streams, we can't say words like frick, shoot, or darn. Hey, let's let's watch our language, okay? I don't want to see any of that fucking shit <laughs> in my chat. It's inappropriate. Open sesame. All right, well, uh, let's see. So, hold on. <laughs> I think the plan, and I think this is a good plan, is that I'm going to try and pause whenever I have to do something to recollect what I have to do so I don't fuck everything up. <laughs> and maybe that'll help. Maybe, you know, game planning before going into possibly precarious situations would be a good idea. It could also completely throw me off, but... <laughs> You know, we're hoping for the best. All right, so I know what to do here. We have okay. We're supposed to have a noisemaker out. Okay, right. step one: throw noisemaker into elevator. Walk until I get to a door. Equip pistol. Shoot explosive. Get thing. Get a upgrade. Run to upgrade. Hack. Go into thing. Ah, fuck, that sounds really complicated, even in my head. <laughs> Pain. Maybe I should have practiced. <laughs> I think about it. I, I, whoever mentioned that, that was probably a good idea. <laughs> I hope that, okay, that's fine. Omega focused again. Where's Steve, is he safe? He got yeeted into space. So I don't know. <laughs> Can tell you, friend. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, we're good. Okay, the door didn't even open. What about you? Woo! Okay. Hard part of chapter 15, low key, done. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Dude, he right as the thing finished. Uh, I heard the beep that the alien was in the area. I got a little nervous, but we're okay. Wasn't close enough. Chat, by the way, now that uh, the game is loud, you can still hear me clearly over the game, right? Like, even when I talk just at a normal tone, the volume's good. I did mess with my microphone again. I messed with the uh, good old, good old uh, EQ again, as I always do. <laughs> so I just gotta be like, sure. <laughs> All right, that's good. Thank you. I ask this like literally every stream because every stream I'm nervous. Because in the Metro Vots in particular, it's so fucking quiet. <laughs> it might, it honestly, it might be a good thing considering that I could just like easily put music over it now, but still. You're a tad quiet, I am? If I am a tad quiet, I can turn it up like a notch. Whatever's like superior. Audio's fine, he's capping. Bass boost the sounds. <laughs> I can do that too. I trust you, chat. A notch would be great. Yeah, I could do a notch. We'll do a notch, and if it's really, really loud, then. You know, we just put it back, right? Because I'm pretty sure I am theoretically quieter than I was on Wednesday. 
I already put it up a notch, by the way. So if this is just ungodly loud, please let me know. Even though all of you are probably going to say it's ungodly loud now. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you. It's perfect. Okay, I'll keep it there. I'm just I'm just not going to touch it anymore. Ooh, more flamethrower fuel. Do not mind if I do gamers. I hear no difference. Yeah, I mean, it was lit I literally put it up like a singular percent. So if there's no difference, then that's perfect, honestly. Uh, OK. Four, five, one, zero. All right, now it's time to restart our Google generators. My ears are bleeding. <laughs> that's, a, that's a feature, actually. I need to put you guys in as much pain as I am in currently, so. I think this is, you know, actually the exact atmosphere I was working with here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do I buy next death doesn't count? Not for this mission. Maybe for 16 or 17, though. Wouldn't be, like, a, the worst idea ever. And British, thank you for the 200 biddies. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. There's the main control. It's going to be too loud for the YouTube video now. <laughs> is it that bad? I'm gullible. This isn't fair. Eat, bop, boop. Easy peasy. We take it. Adds the very needed umph. Okay, lid. And we'll keep it like this. And I'm just never going to touch EQ again until tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, I, I always like I record voiceover and I'm like, wait a second, there's like a little bit wrong with this. And then I end up spending an hour messing with my EQ instead of getting stuff done. <laughs> it's all bad, man. It's all bad. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marlo. As next death doesn't count work for this game. So pretty much um, since this is permadeath. We don't do full sends. And next death doesn't count only works towards the bet. So if I die, the run is over, but I will replay the mission to see if I beat it or not in regards to people betting channel points. And a next death doesn't count can be uh, um, canceled out by a full send after a next death doesn't count has been redeemed, if that makes sense. Excuse me, sir. Sound quality sounding like a FIFA 12 shit talking message over Xbox voice messages. <laughs> Great. I guess I am gonna have to deal with my EQ. Munka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does sound fine though, right chat? I, I know a lot of you are just messing with me, but I, I, I do need to know. I don't want this to sound like ass. A weird looking dog? Yeah. I mean, it's just a different breed. It's okay. <laughs> you sound fine. It's fine. It's okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> uh, darn it. I was hoping that would find more flamethrower fuel there, but I guess not. That's okay. Not a big deal. It's kind of funky, but tis good. It's kind of funky. <laughs> Wait, in what way? <laughs> I can barely hear myself think if I thought. <laughs> I see. Sound like an angel. Thank you. Are you accusing me of gaslighting you? Wow, that's disrespectful. It wouldn't be the fucking first time. Like you sound a bit higher. A bit like a... Wait, <laughs> I'm confused. Is Evil Within 2 the next game after this one? Uh, depends. Because if we beat this, I'll probably start the Halo Lasso, but since I'm doing Lasso with a person each time, um, we have to, you know, obviously we can only do it when our schedules align. And uh, a lot of the time that might not happen, so uh, we just gotta, I gotta find another game to play in the meantime too, when on days I can't do Lassoing, you know? Sound like a public speaker? Oh, that's good though. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. 
Nope. All right. Well, <laughs> never mind. I was hoping to find like something over there. There was nothing. Okay. Let's go down here. Uh, King Gigantor. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate you giving me some of Jeff Bezos' money. Always, always very much appreciated, sir. Thank you. Do you like D&D? I've never played my life, but I've always been interested, if that makes sense. Added report. Added report. The report was bad. It's bad. Oh my god. Just to summarize it for you all. What difficulty is this? This is nightmare difficulty. So the literal hardest version of the game possible. Hello, Taylor. Hello, uh... I forgot his name. I've played this 30 times in a row. I still can't remember. Marlo! Wait, never mind. We got it. Easy. I'm not a fake fan. Ever thought about doing Baldur's Gate? Is there no time for it? I, it's, that, Baldur's Gate, I feel like, is a game that I would do on my own time. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. It has to come out for, like... Actually, it is on PC, right? I do have a PC now. I guess we'll see. It would be cool to unlock achievements for it, though. So. What's up, Shmoo? How's it going? Why isn't she attacking? She, uh, does not currently have a gun. Now it was just ungodly early. <laughs> Delivery Starfield on this channel? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm hoping to find some sort of way to get Starfield going. It's on PC or Xbox? This is Xbox. Oh, now's the time. Uh, a little late, a little late, a little late. Better than normal though, true. Open the fusion system so I can work I mean, British, I gotta say, I, I mean, help. we're we're getting better. Uh, especially with like the weird delay. I mean that that's probably the reason why it happened, to be fair. Alright, time to charge the generator. Xbox Series X getting that glorious FPS boost, absolutely dude. Although on my PC I could probably run it pretty well. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that was necessarily relevant, <laughs> but thank you, British. All right, let's let just finger the uh, hack tool for a sec. Deactivate the fusion relay. What are your specs on PC? Uh, hold on. I, I don't know if I can answer that right now, but if you ask me after stream yellow, I'll let you know. And we're safe! Not gonna blow up, at least for right now. The only reason this was off, because Sam's sound settings are garbage? That's not very nice at all! I asked you guys if my sound was okay! <laughs> Still a little early. I don't even know what the timing for this is either. She just kind of stands there for a while. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, time to go this way. <laughs> it's time to go this way. And we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Um, we go over here, over here, over here, over here. Not that way. <laughs> that, that was pretty on time. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> uh, which direction am I going again? That way. Okay. Got it. And then this way. We run past the dead dog. Uh, face hugger thing. <laughs> okay, and we're almost home free. I think we're okay. We'll get to a good old chappy 16. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
Uh, imagine being chased by the alien through here. Dog, that'd be so sick, though. <laughs> Ah, we're okay. We're on good old chapter 16. Let me pay out the bed. But alternatively, we are also on good old chapter 16, Munka friggin W. <laughs> okay. So I need to make sure to sneak over so that I don't get spotted by a security guard. And then we just gotta get to the, get to the android. And we should be okay. If I get spotted initially, this is going to be really bad, so I really have to be careful. And what's up, Tedward? Thank you for the lake. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We progress. Okay, let's see what these guys are doing over here. Seems like there isn't a guy. I think we're okay. I hope. What do they want? The Torrens. They heard the broadcast. They want to contact it. I think they plan on taking it by force. Can they? No. Cons are still out. Stay clear of them, though. They're dangerous. They're desperate. I got you. All right, it got canceled out. Never mind. Well, I'm just listening out for humans. Jesus, it's so fucking loud. Daryl, you look absolutely incredible today, my friend. Just an absolute hunk. Okay. Got past the super scary part. Uh, and we just kind of have to hope that <laughs> we don't get like Omega screwed over. Oh. Okay. Uh, so now we gotta be on the lookout for a dude. If there's a dude out here. Something's on the radar. I don't know where. Theory, that shouldn't be someone. Okay, not glitched. Very good. Don't have to randomly sneak through this next room. That's always ideal. This is the one, surely. Surely it is. <laughs> And now we just gotta wait for the uh, police officer to come through here so that we have a good timing to release the android. Then we let Snamsung 2.0 do his thing. First time I've ever caught, he's playing one of the first games I've ever played. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> Oz champ. <laughs> Just gotta wait for this good old security guard to do his rounds and then we'll be okay. But until then, <laughs> you're cursed not to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We are still Omega Munkle, Munkle, <laughs> like a monkey uncle. We are a Monka W right now, and it's not very good. What's up, uh, Eric? 
hopefully I'm reading that right. It's a dark blue name, so it's hard. But uh, watch your videos on YouTube. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Dude, where the hell is this guy? <laughs> Hello? Is that a clock ticking? I think it's like the computer over there or something. Some sort of electric thing. It could be the clock ticking, actually. I don't know. I've never really identified what that sound is. You need a Snam love emote with a heart? Low key, actually? Good point. <laughs> Oh, nothing there. Nothing. <laughs> Dude, where the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Is there anyone home? <laughs> He's taking a dump? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, where's this guy? He's definitely there. I see him on the, the thingy. Is this an RNG thing? I don't think so. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Gone to the loo and actually washing his hands, just like me. Dude, I, I have to wait, because if I don't wait, I know exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go on the computer and he's gonna be like, Hey! What the fuck are you doing? And then I'm gonna get shot to death. <laughs> but I have to wait. <laughs> what's up, Vanoli? Oh, speaking of. He should be walking away. Once he does, we can actually hack the thing. Because he won't theoretically come back in here for a little bit. Where? Thank you for whatever that was. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll give you a bigger thank you in a sec. Uh, and Shinopa, thank you for the nine months. Sub baby, that's fucking sick. Thank you, thank you. Has this always been locked? Am I crazy? Hello, sir. I'm just gonna be going in here. Thank you. <laughs> you do your thing out there, though, buddy. I believe in ya. Go get him, Samsung! <laughs> That's my king right there. He's literally going to be carrying me throughout the level. All right, chat. Well, we have some uh, we have some downtime, <laughs> so I can read whatever the hell is going on. How was your day, chat? Oh, I hear the android murdering humans music. This is good. How's the run going? Uh, so far, so good. I mean, we had a good chap. We had a very clean chapter fifteen, so that's good. Uh, luckily, didn't get seen by anyone at the beginning of chapter sixteen, which is where we currently are. Uh, did we, when did we even have a scare? I think everything, chapter 10 was okay, chapter 11. Oh, chapter 11 we had a scare actually. That's when we threw the flashbang because Frank wasn't behind the box that time. That could have been bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how was the hive? The hive we had to use extra flamethrower fuel because the alien dropped uh, at the elevator from what I remember. Yeah. Other than those two things, it's been going like okay though. Today's phenomenal because today is the day, Stamp. Thank you, Daco. I appreciate it. What's up, Bree? Uh, got waffles on the beach? That sounds like a fucking good time. <laughs> uh, here it is. Remember the gas station, the first evil within two open world? And when you're about to leave, two crawlers spawned and try to kill you. You can avoid them, but instead. Going up the left side to the back of the gas station, you go to the right and follow it down the road, you're in the clear. Actually, that's exactly what I did, J-Man. <laughs> but thank you for the tip. Uh, I've been using a walkthrough guide on true achievements for Evil Within 2 because um, I want to get all the achievements other than classic mode so we can do that on stream. And I might as well just like complete the rest of it, you know what I mean? And the guide told me to do that, so I'll keep aware of it, hopefully, when I do the classic playthrough. What run number is this? Too many. <laughs> Now run a lot. <laughs> How long do you think this run will take if you, uh... Wait, hold on, Saj, you might need to retype that. I, I, unfortunately, I don't think I understood the question. 
Why do I have to be in early work early tomorrow? That's a fucking bummer error. I'm sorry, dog. Any RNG sections coming up? Yeah, kinda. Um, When Bob first shows up, that's a pretty big RNG section because you either have to wait for eons for him to go away or he goes away immediately. And then the entirety of chapter 17 is one big fucking shit vest. So that's what we got going on. Everything else is like pretty standard. Total runtime for the campaign. Uh, how long do you think this run will take if you when you beat it? Oh, OK. So, I mean, usually um, based on how I play, it takes like a little over six hours per run. If I were to get to the end each time, obviously I die early a lot of the time. So sometimes it only takes two. Sometimes it takes five. I don't know. But uh, theoretically, um, a completed run should be uh, about six hours long based on the strategies I'm using. It's a Barlow. Curse of being a UK watcher. I know. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so that looks like the beep boop of Snamsung. So I need to go out and patrol the area to make sure Snamsung killed everyone, pretty much. And then once we figure out if he did, we probably we might have to throw another flare. Because there's usually a guy that Snamsung misses right before where I'm supposed to exit. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Is that Snamsung's beep boop or is it someone else's beep boop? We do kind of have to like be aware of that. Tedward, thank you for gifting two subs, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I feel like that's Snamsung, so I... Why is Samsung coming this way? Samsung, go go do your other thing. Okay, that's definitely Samsung. Samsung, yeah, that's what we have dubbed the android. Okay, I think we've been in here long enough where we can like try and get a a grasp of things. And hopefully he has murdered that guy over there. If not, we just throw a flare and we should be okay. I don't know, he usually doesn't. Yeah, I fucking assumed. Ah, oh, shit. Is that gonna be a good flare? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'll just come back out of the flare. It doesn't work, you know? We do have like an actually pretty decent amount of flares, which is kind of crazy. You usually never do. Is Samsung gonna go investigate the flare? Or am I crazy? Oh god, I hope he investigates the flare. I hope the other guy shows up. I, I that flare bounced in a really annoying position. I don't know if it'll actually work. Did you know you can detect Android on that thing? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, well, Samsung's over there. Is he gonna go murder the guy, though, is the question, I suppose. It looks like he's going in that direction. Which is good. Alt said a redeemed a good looking. Oh, sorry, Alt. You look absolutely incredible today. I'm so sorry. I guess I just got a little nervous, you know? Considering how good looking you are. You do look absolutely phenomenal today. I don't know if he murdered the guy or not. I should probably wait for Samsung to go again, and then I can use another flare, maybe. Ah, oh, damn it. OK. Oh, Samsung has not necessarily left yet. Samsung going over there or nah? They literally can't tell. And Jiraiya, you're also looking absolutely incredible, my friend. Not only do you look in fantastic animated, but in real life, it's somehow even better. You look great. Loki's scared to go over here. 
that guy still alive or no? I literally cannot tell at the moment. Oh, he's still alive. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I need to throw the flare then. Oh, uh, that's annoying. I had to throw a shitty flare. Oh well. At least now, this time, they'll see each other, I'm sure. <laughs> if not, I'll probably just have to murder that guy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there he goes. Get him, Samsung! Kick his ass! <laughs> That's my boy over there. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, hell yeah. What a punch. That's my boy. One hit KO. Classic Snam Sung, am I right, chat? <laughs> Alright, that should, in theory, be everyone. Unless there's some random hiding somewhere. If so, actually, I should probably take out my shotgun. <laughs> You need to double check, because if there's just a random fucking security guard that kills me on the way back, I will never forgive myself. I think we're alright. I think it's literally just Samsung again, and we should be okay. Well, I should, probably should just like look in each of the rooms to be 100%. There's empty some scrap. Okay, don't mind if I do. That guy, that is a one flexible man. That's a shame. We could have used him on the Sevastopol gymnastics team, but gone too soon, unfortunately. Uh, there's this dead guy. All right, so I think it's just him. So we should be okay. We definitely killed that guy over there. Like I can guarantee that at the very least. Hello, Samsung. Thank you for your service, sir. I gotta put you down. He's with the rabbits now, chat. <laughs> Pour one out for our boy Samsung. Gone too soon. Empty? Okay. Um I'm trying to remember what I need to do now. <laughs> Pretty sure I can just like run around at this point, which is good. But I'm gonna walk because I'm a scaredy cat, so that's also good. <laughs> Honorably discharged, indeed. <laughs> His services were no longer needed, but he did a damn fine job, chat, and no one could tell him differently. Okay, hello, Ricardo. Ripley, you okay? Listen, Marlo's permissions are still locked at this terminal. If we have the Literally just got a god roll when Samsung died. His death wasn't in vain. Perfect. Sam, that's exactly what Samsung would have wanted. Open sesame. Ah. <sighs> Gosh, I, I, I am sorry for not speaking as much as I usually do. I'm just trying to keep composure. <laughs> it's always like this on super deep runs. I'm sorry. Damn, is focus? I never am either, you know? <laughs> the first time for everything. What's up, Beasel, by the way? All you said deep. Thank, Flips. <laughs> Thank you, Flipsy. Okay, let's get this bad boy. I just have to run through this next area. I forgot which way I go. I think it's this way. Sick. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I'm just getting through. <laughs> Uh, just running on by. If you stay in that area for too long, chat, the uh, enemies actually try to murder you. So that's why I run through there. Thankfully, the alien's not active, so I don't have to worry about it. 
Now we just gotta go through good old Death Stranding Simulator again. And then uh, we'll be back to another really scary part, so... You know... <laughs> that's gonna be great. God, I'm never able to loot that guy. I swear. <clears throat> you unfortunately missed it. Wait, what was the poll, Hato? Was it Baldur's Gate? Because I did do that one. Open sesame! Alright, now we just gotta match the shapes, just like my kindergarten self couldn't do. You did shit my bad? Yeah, I think it was, uh, Nopers by like 63 or something. Where's the result? I love Death Stranding, we get to watch Death Stranding on an island. We got to watch the Dead Stranding... I, okay, hold on. <laughs> My brain is not working. Focus, focus on video game sandwiches. <laughs> All right, let's triangulate, even though this is a circle. I still don't understand that, but that's okay. Just gotta get our coordinates and dip, Jet. Thank God. The circle goes in the circle hole, and that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. I need to play Death Stranding. Me too, dude. I, apparently, uh, it's coming off Game Pass in five days, and I never got a chance to try it. So I'll probably just end up buying it if I do. Okay, down we go. Uh, where am I? Here I am. <laughs> Completely lost all my orientation. Not exactly off uh, to a great start, but here we are. Sneak on through here. What's up, Pito? Or Pitu. And elevator. Okay, very cool. Do you Limbo join Game Pass? I did. I'm planning on getting a third Limbo completion. I gotta do it. Now that it's there, I have no excuse. I gotta do the full Limbo trifecta. Elevator? I just met her. <laughs> that's, a, that's a knee slapper, dude. Getting up to nearly 500. Uh, that's so fun. <laughs> Thanks, British. I appreciate that. Uh, people do love a good alien run, though, to be fair. And see any knee slapping? To be fair, you can only see up to my shoulders, so <laughs> it is pretty hard. But I promise you that I might have done it. Don't hold your breath. Okay. Now we just have our good old Death Stranding section, Jet. We're gonna go on a walking sim and then we have to deal with fucking Bob, who's gonna be the most menacing, evil piece of shit <laughs> in the entire playthrough, probably. I'm pretty hard here, too. <laughs> Thanks, Wigman. I'm glad you're getting the most out of this stream. And Josh, Speaking of which, I mean, no wonder Wigwam has that going on, because with you in here, I, I don't blame him. You look absolutely amazing today. Can you not run the spacesuit? No. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this is like lore accurate, but I'm pretty sure these space boots have uh, like mag boots or whatever. So uh, you can't really like run because your foot gets stuck to the, the floor. And Sacred, thank you for the seven months. I'm here for the run TM. Poggers, true. Dog, I hope I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm back, my kids are ready to be named after you, Snam. Perfect, I know. Who's gonna be Snam and who's gonna be witches? <sighs> okay. So now we just gotta go. I think we have to go down the elevator, then we have to go fiddle with the console. Even though the console is not a musical instrument, but we'll make it work. And then we got to do the thing, make our way back, and then we get. Then we meet Bob. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with Bob, man. I really don't. It's faster if you walk backwards. <laughs> uh, that's true. I don't know. For whatever reason, I don't know if this is just kind of like confirmation bias, but. <laughs> 
It did seem like I was walking a little bit faster, <laughs> weirdly. Fiddle the technical term? That's what I'm saying, dude. We got jacking up, we got uh, fingering the button, and we got uh, fiddling with the generator. Only one of which isn't a sexual innuendo, you know? At least we're improving a little bit in that regard. One step further to the safer work stream chat. We can make it one day, I'm sure. Is Bob that bad? Bob? Uh... Oh, Bob is basically the barrier between me and actually beating this run. So yeah, <laughs> Bob is usually that bad. <laughs> What's up, Gray? Thank you for the lurk. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hands are sweating again. <laughs> We're about to be put into another Eminem song, Chad. I'm not ready. <laughs> Don't forget blowing the panel. Oh, blowing the panel. You're so right. I forgot about that technical terminology. We literally did it this level too, and I didn't even call it out. What kind of uh, what kind of engineer am I, really? Okay, pull the clamp, pull the clamp, pull the clamp, and then pull the lever. A lot less fun technical terminology going on, but it gets the job done, Chet, and that's what really matters. Did you catch any Evo last week? I did. Uh, I watched the entirety of Street Fighter Top 8, uh, and I watched a little bit of Mortal Kombat on Friday. And I watched a little bit of Tekken, but I was editing that day, so I only got like bits and pieces before Street Fighter. Street Fighter was sick though. Like I hear the rest of like the uh, top sixes in each of the other games were kind of snoozers, but uh, I'm very glad that I the only one I decided to watch was Street Fighter Six because that was sick. And shout out to Angry Bird too. That man is kind of sick and also a good sport. All right, we gotta get to 35. You hyped for Mortal Kombat 1? I'll definitely play it. I can't say I'm like super hyped though, because I've seen um, uh, a lot of people. I know Jazzy in particular is like Omega hyped for Mortal Kombat 1, but I can't say I'm on the same level. I'll definitely give it a shot though. I always like trying the Mortal Kombat games. What's up, Jerry? I'm doing okay. Stressing out because of this run, but you know, that's the normal when it comes to this really. I know nothing is Street Fighter, and even I was hyped during this fight. That, that's the beauty of fighting games, though. Like, you don't really need to know what's going on. You just kind of need to know generally that you got to get your opponent's life bar to zero. And that's why it's, fighting games are, like, easily one of the best spectator esports next to, like, Counter-Strike. Because, like, even if you're someone who has no idea what the fuck's going on or, like, any of the strategy, you can still, like, have fun and, like, appreciate it, you know? The DLC roster for Mortal Kombat 1 is kind of bizarre. I mean, what is it? It's like, is there, is it Omni-Man and Homelander? Uh, and then there's like uh, some other stuff. I mean, you know, I, I don't think it's like that bizarre considering some of the DLC characters for like the other Mortal Kombat games. Like he had the Ninja Turtles at one point, I think. And then he had Alien, you had the Alien. Unless I'm conflating that with uh, Killer Instinct, I don't remember. It's a very, can I tell dark jokes on stream? Probably not. <laughs> Just because I don't know whether to determine whether they're like good or not until you tell them. And by that point, it's too late, you know? I think Hellboy, Hellboy will be sick though. Alien, Predator, Terminator, Freddy, Jason. Yeah, I mean, th th that seems fine. I don't think it's like way too out there. If they put Barbie in, then I mean, maybe. You know, but I mean, you know, Omni-Man and Homelander both come from like ultra-violent shows, right? So they're literally like the perfect character fit for a Mortal Kombat game, I'd argue. Barbie would actually be sick. Dog, I wonder what the discourse would even be like in Netherrealm to like include just like a complete meme character. Cause I don't know, I, I don't know if, like, it'd be funny, but like, I don't know if the optics would be that great. Especially if like, you're tuning into Mortal Kombat at EVO, and it's a Barbie mirror match in Grand Finals. Could you imagine the fucking... <laughs> Could you imagine how mad people would be, you know what I mean? That'd be crazy. 
Mortal Gen Bats. <laughs> Alright, actually you sold me on it. Doom guy got leech for the second combat pat. Doom guy again, really good. I mean, if it comes from like franchises that are just kind of like ultra violence, I mean, I think they fit. Oh, there's Bob, by the way. Bob's gonna go ahead and do his thing, <laughs> and uh, hopefully not ruin the run. That would be omega cringe. All the hard parts are done, Sam. Just needs the ending. No, that's absolutely not true. Chapter 17 is literally the hardest <laughs> mission in the game. Even I can't gaslight myself into not thinking so. All right, chat. We're going to start using save spots just for the sole fact that if I die, um, I at least want to practice where I died so that, you know, I have a lesser chance of having it happen again. So if you see me save, uh, is for that particular reason. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go see Bob, Chet. Is there a poll for chapter 17? Not yet. So this is chapter 16 still. Uh, and we don't get to chapter 17 until the elevator after this next one. Alright, and now we just gotta hope that Bob's RNG here is not, like, ungodly awful. All right, so here comes Bob. Pops in. Good classic Bob shenanigans, as per usual. Yeah, there's this, oh, nice. Good shit, Bob. Actually, I was worried I was gonna have to lure him over here, but I guess we're fine. Please attempt your assigned evacuation point. All right, now Bob just needs to murder everyone else. So we got one of the primary guys. I'm pretty sure the other two are like over there somewhere. And then Bob just needs to hop back in the vents and we're chilling. If there's a god, please just put the alien out to pasture. It's just cruel at this point. True. I would go to Snamcon. Snamcon? That sounds dope. I was thinking about going to TwitchCon this year, but I don't know. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, that's the other person with the gun, so this is good. At this point, all the humans are low-key cleared out. Imagine he goes up in the vent initially. Damn it. <laughs> One could only dream. Of such good RNG. Where's TwitchCon? It's in Vegas this year, I believe. Oh, is there a third guy? I didn't even realize there was someone over there. All right, let's see if Bob actually, no, okay. <laughs> Keep our flamethrower out too, just in case, because you'd never fucking know what Bob's up to. Oh, Bob's always up to something, really. Him and his bean-headed head. Uh, your children will go nameless if I fail. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool in his own right, to be fair. Hmm. Worst part about this part is that I kind of have to pay like at least a little bit of attention to make sure that Bob didn't leave. But also like nothing really happens for like the next uh, couple minutes if we get bad Bob RNG. A couple minutes is also being kind of generous, but. <laughs> ah, jeez Louise, man. Where is Bob off to now? I was going all the way over there, okay. I don't actually know if there's a vent over there. Oh, Bob's not gone. Classic. Classic Bob. <sighs> Dad, I'm scared again. <laughs> if I told you that, I probably told you that all throughout the stream, but it, it holds true still. Come on, Bob, there's a vent right above you. Okay. <laughs> does, he ever, does he ever leave the room? Yes, that's exactly what we're waiting for, in fact. But sometimes it's really fast, and sometimes it takes a little bit. 
Theoretically, I could distract him with something and try and sneak over, but the last time I did that, I got killed, so... <laughs> We are just going the perma-safe route, if we can so help it. Oh, okay, Bob, come on. Come on, Bob. You need to get back in the vent before I can do anything. You all know you can do it. It's just a matter of time. Bet speedrunners don't have skill issues at this part. Yeah, I mean, speedrunners probably just like do it the risky way is the main thing. But I can't really afford to do that, <laughs> so. To be honest, sometimes with speedrunners, they just get the fucking Bob Instavent RNG and I'm hella jealous. That like never happens to me, I swear. Okay, Bob's going in the corner again, god damn it. Bob's coming back over here. Just classic Bob things again, chat. <laughs> Not much we can do, unfortunately. How long does this section go on for? Uh, well, I mean, pretty much we have this section, and then we have to make our escape. So there's like two more things we have to do, and then we're on to chapter 17, hypothetically. So again, we kind of have to wait for Bob to actually leave first. Which, as, uh, as you can all see, is always kind of a struggle, unfortunately. Let me craft a noisemaker in the meantime, low key. Just in case. Never know. Can I craft another one actually? Can. Okay, pog. Did Bob? No, Bob's still there. Okay. <laughs> I have to say, I didn't see him, which is always the problem. <laughs> Hmm. Bob? <laughs> I'm really desperately gonna need you to hurry it up here. <laughs> I do. He's going to the corner again, pain. What's up, Hex? How's it going? Welcome. Uh, what channels are we doing? We're trying to get the alien isolation permadeath achievement, but I've also decided to do it on the hardest possible difficulty instead of the easiest. <laughs> come on, Bob, get in the vent. No, Bob, come on, brother. We're so close. We were so close to glory there. Bob continuing to be that dude. Come on, Bob. It's right above you. No, Bob, come on. No, Bob. Yes, Bob. Turn around, Bob. I believe in you, buddy. Come on, Bob. You can get in the vent. I know you can. You're standing right next to it. It's right above you. No, Bob. Oh. We're so close. That's the thing about Nightmare is that if you're on easy, Bob will most likely just go back up into the vent right after he finishes murdering everyone. But since we're on Nightmare, Bob is Omega tethered. Uh, so, <laughs> we're here. Bob the type of dude to leave his teammate behind in the left for dead, low key though.
Hmm. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Get in the vents. <laughs> Just a run, smile. <laughs> it's also a vent over there, which is why you always have to kind of pay attention, but with the flashing lights and the smoke effects, you can never tell. <laughs> Which sucks. <laughs> Bob, come on, my guy. <laughs> oh, Bob. I am begging and pleading. <laughs> ah, damn it, dude. I don't... Mm. Aliens waiting for the SNAM RNG. <laughs> That'd be low-key. Like, the smart thing is to wait, but I also want to just go, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to find a way to get Bob the fuck out of here. <laughs> Nordy, you look absolutely phenomenal. The only thing I want to keep my eyes on more than Bob right now is you, because you look fantastic. And Black Plague, thank you for the three months of Prime. Thank you as well for the Jeff Bezos bucks. Where the fuck did Bob go? Oh. <laughs> that answers that question. Oonga Booga, you also look absolutely incredible. No matter the time period, whether it be the caveman or right now, easily I'm the most attractive people I've ever seen. Just so naturally gifted at being beautiful. Uh, Sam, read Kelly's message. Hold on. I have to focus on Bob. Back up at the Rubidol, maybe a secondary? I mean, maybe. Bob's right underneath the thing. No. I don't want to get too close to this door because if it opens, I think that's the go ahead for Bob to do his thing. I also now don't know where Bob went. Kelly, you might be onto something. <laughs> Thank you, Daco, for the thousand bits. Holy fuck. Gotta go to work. Good luck, dude. Hopefully works good today. Oh, that might be that. That might be it. Maybe that's why. I wonder. Cobra and Fluffy, you both look absolutely amazing. You're basically twinning it up in the good looks department because holy shit, you both look phenomenal today.
fucking hey. Ah, oh, I hate this game, dude. <laughs> oh, god damn it. No, okay. Okay, it's chapter 17 time. Oh, God. Oh, my heart's beating so bad. I heard him behind me initially when I was like at the staircase and I thought I was going to have a flamethrower him and go through all that. <laughs> I was probably going to have to use a lot of flamethrower if he ended up seeing me. But thankfully, I think his AI was traced on me for so long that he never... Because last time he spawned in front of me, from what I remember, right, chat? A pole? I got... Or Flipsy, are you here, by the way? Oh, I'm going to take... I'm going to take a breather really quick, chat. <laughs> An ad break? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? This is perfect because that actually allows me to take a breather. Chat, I will be running ads. We will not be doing literally anything for the time being, okay? You are not going to miss anything. I will not start chapter 17 until the ads are done. We are good. <laughs> so I will, I will do that really quickly and then we'll get back to this. I need a break anyway, so just give me a moment. <laughs> Uh, Mossy, you're looking absolutely incredible. I'm glad you're the official Mossy because I, and if you were the fake one with not as good looks as you, I mean, I would be so heartbroken. All right, I got to stretch too. Oh my fuck. God damn, I don't want to do chapter 17 chat. I really don't. Okay. By the way, chat, I'm also going to be muting alerts and uh, everything else for the rest of stream, okay? So just a heads up. <laughs> I might not notice anything coming in. Uh, and that's because I need pure focus. <laughs> so I've muted everything at the moment. Um... And then we're going to get to it after the ad break's done. I need to switch to a flare, and I need to use the flare, immediately sneak over. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't want to... The beginning of Chapter 17 is somehow even scarier for me, just because I know that it's so RNG and finicky, you know? <clears throat> ad break is done? Okay. It still says it's going on for me, so I'm just going to hold for a sec. Remember to use extra equipment. I know, I know, I know. I'll remember this time. Thankfully. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Angelic. Still got a minute. Get up and stretch. I'll do another get up and stretch after I beat this part. I don't want to do too many in a row. But I will do this a little bit. Uh, would Molotov Mines help? Not in this next section, but in the section after it will. And I usually do. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God, chapter 17, dude. Chapter 17. <laughs> Monka, big W there. Okay. Chat. You ball. <sighs> okay, hoping for... A good throw here. So if I mess up this throw, we are kind of GG'd. That's a pretty good one if I do say so myself. He is aware G, right? Okay, thank god. up while the dude's distracted. 
hold and push. Uh, damn. Subtitus. Oh, that seems like a scam arena. Which ventures dot top? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Where is this dude going? Oh, he's going down there. What the fuck? I low-key almost forgot the code. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What do I do here? What's the, what's the best option? 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 Uh, God. I'm so focused, holy fuck. <laughs> Step one, step one, step one, step one. Now, now we get to the hard part. <laughs> This is a video game. <laughs> this is indeed a video game. Hello, there we go. I did reload this, right? Okay, we're good. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> I need to get my goddamn <laughs> feelings out, man. <laughs> this is indeed one of the games of all time. <laughs> I hate it, man. <laughs> it do be like that. <sighs> I just gotta I just gotta pause. Thankfully I don't have to do this without pausing. Holy fuck. Could you imagine this is like Dark Souls or something? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Damn it. Good throw. Fuck me, dude. I'm so I'm so stressed out. Why does this have to be like this, dude? I, I hate permadeath so much. <clears throat> oh god. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh god, okay. Alright, I light lit up, that's good. Good. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Okay, now we're now we're on the stressful part. <laughs>
<laughs> not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Focus up. Focus up. Focus up. Focus up. Forty, thank you for the prime. Avatar, thank you for the prime. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. At the very least, PV. <laughs> not done yet. Don't let your guard down. You're not done yet. Pour to party. You are a fucking party. Whenever I get to see you, you look absolutely fantastic today. Hello? Where is my flamethrower fuel that's always in here? Alright. That hurts. <laughs> fuel is for the weak. Fuel, fuel is for the people who can actually survive, actually. More scrap, dog. I don't need scrap. I need flamethrower fuel. <laughs> you see if there's any over here. I hope. Oh, damn it, dude. I thought that can was playing through reveal. I got so excited. <laughs> oh, Sag. It ran out of fossil fuels in space? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> who knows how this thing manages to like operate on a day to day basis, you know? I, again, I'm sorry for not talking. I'm I'm in the zone. I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> oh, okay. Chapter 17 done now? Right now it is, yeah. That is the end of chapter 17. All right, chat. That's up. Time for sandwiches to Omega Focus. Verlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. Rexing. Thank God, I hear you. I need yeah, so I just need to get over to this computer first. Go underneath. Go to the other computer. I believe. Uh, where's the thing? There it is. Like, where'd the vent go? <laughs> so, flamethrower out. This is good. Checking if there's any loot down here. 
Oh, right, I have to reboot the system. It's a good thing I did come down here. <laughs> I completely forgot about that part. You can tell I've never been here on a run before. <laughs> That android's alive, by the way, so I don't want to get grabbed by him. <sighs> Dog, the fact that my screen just jumped entirely, I thought I died. I got so scared, <laughs> I jumped. Could be flamethrower fuel in here. In theory. I think I can use the maintenance ring instead. If I can find an EVA suit, I can still get to you. Be careful, Ridley. This better work. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> One more section to go. <laughs> Osvaldo, you look great. That's all I can say. <laughs> in case. 
Okay. Good. Okay. Back to the flamethrower. Heart rates at immense levels at the moment. Okay. Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> Oochies. <laughs> yeah, Bob and Tom, dude. Classic. Classic Bob and Tom. Doing their thing. No lie. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> are not going very well around you. here. Too close. Too close. Monka. <laughs> Forget it, train spotting. Doesn't that mean like something completely different though? Am I crazy? Okay. <laughs> so the flamethrower out, this is good. All right, <laughs> more face huggers. Okay. It sounded like two. Okay. I don't need a heal, guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry.
forget. <laughs> We're fine. Still fine. <laughs> Fine. Dude, knowing me, I know I can fuck something up still, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not singing my phrases yet. What do you need me to do? Get out the airlock and EVA over to the maintenance platform. There are explosive bolts on the emergency release. Hurry! The back is going fast. Won't let you down. <laughs> Skycrow, thank you for the resub for seven months. Dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a chance I can fuck this up. I'm so scared. Okay. Let's do this. 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 I know I have to do this next part fast, otherwise I literally can die. Cause I did before. <laughs> I have done I've managed to somehow fuck up this far before. Oh god, I'm barely breathing, dude. <laughs> this probably is not very healthy, but the more I think about it, dude. <laughs> Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. Actually, there's still one more thing I can fuck up too, knowing me. <laughs> and I don't wanna, oh God. Oh, this is so tense. I feel sick. <laughs> To be 100% sure, that's all I had to do there, right? <laughs> I didn't miss anything. We're good, right? Right? <laughs> I'm so scared, man. <laughs> that was that was what I had to do. <laughs> Look up guide. We don't know. Adam was here. Dog, I need to know. <laughs> Check the guide if you're in doubt. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I need to know. <laughs> Pretty sure we're fine. <laughs> okay, actually, I think we're good. <laughs> okay. Holy. Uh, generating suspense, content creator, fuck. <laughs>
blow the bolts? What does that mean? Chat, what does that mean? <laughs> What do you mean, blow the bolts? Do I have to click anything else? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> I am paranoid. Are you kidding me? Do you not, do you not realize what's happening right now? Bunker. Mm, we out of here. <laughs> I can still fuck this up. 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 Verlaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. I can still fuck this up. I can still fuck this up. I can still fuck this up. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Verlaine? Could you imagine? <laughs> I was planning this like big pop off for this, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't feel enthused. I think I feel at peace. It's like I it's like I died. <laughs> I've just suddenly just experienced calm. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I've never, I've never felt anything like this. This is really weird. <laughs> we fucking did it. <laughs> oh my fucking God, chat. We, we did it. <laughs> oh, I was so stressed that entire time. Hold on, there are so many things happening right now. I need I need to turn on my alerts again. I feel lightheaded. <laughs> oh my god, we got the fucking run. <laughs> we started this literally in December. <laughs> And on and off for the past eight months. <laughs> We've been doing this fucking run over and over again. I'm, I'm still kind of accepting it. <laughs> That's fucking insane. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We want fruit. We want fruit. Want flute? I will gladly give you the flute. It is what you deserve, chatters. Thank you for sticking with me for all this time. Holy shit. Like, actually. Okay, hold on. Actually, I need to... <laughs> Where'd my Chrome tab go? <laughs> Holy moly. Hold on. I'm gonna have to go through all these subs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's a lot happening. Clone Trooper Kev, thank you for the five gifted. Eli, thank you for the five... I think that's ten gifted. Uh, Don't Rush, thank you for the gifted, the three gifted, IDK Anime, thank you for the bit, Rigafutsu, thank you for the four months, Abstracts, thank you for the prime, Kelly, thank you for the five gifted, Crankin, thank you for the, ah, that's a lot of gifted, At 10 or 20, I really can't tell, I'm sorry, the thing's going really fast, Anonymous, thank you for gifting five, uh, Clank, thank you for gifting 931, uh, British, thank you for the 200, 
Daya, thank you for the tier one. Barlow, thank you for 1,500. Oh my fucking god. Lathia, thank you for the three months. Aaron, thank you for the 500 bits. Dark Hero Zero, thank you for the, for the fucking gifted. Jesus Christ, thank you all so much. Holy fuck, Penta Penguin. Thank you for the three months as well, dude. Cosmic, thank you for the fucking 200. TL, thank you for the five. Oh my god, is that. Uh, Crankton, thank you for another 20. Holy fuck, chat. <laughs> thank you. Sandra, thank you for a gifted as well. Nas G Nasty Pork, thank you for five. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god, chat's actually moving faster than I think ever before. Tada, thank you for the five gifted. <laughs> We're gonna get another maid stream out of this. <laughs> Elk Commander, thank you for the Prime. Ania, thank you for the Gifted. Oh my god, we haven't even done the fucking flute yet. <laughs> and there's this many Gifted subs at the moment. Oh my god, dude, I... I'm in disbelief. Hold on, my mic might get really, really loud really quickly. Sorry, chat. Grey Walrus, thank you for the Gifted. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today was the fucking day. And let it be known that... I think 99% of you, unless you came from Marvel's like Link, we're here. Hog. All right, chat. Um, low key, we're going to do a raid. We're going to raid Gray because Gray is a fucking absolute amazing human being, and I like him a lot. He makes uh, platinum slash achievement YouTube content, same to me, but he's way smaller, which sucks because Gray's so fucking funny. He's so deadpan, and it's so sick. I love the guy. Um, so go wish him well. Um, again, rating rules for those who have never participated in a raid raid before. Don't talk about me unless specifically asked by the streamer. I don't want to go in there and just promote myself, you know, and I don't want you promoting me for me either. So go in there and have a good time. If you got to go get dinner, that's fine too. You can just say hello and uh, dip out if you need to. And also don't be a dick, obviously. That's, that's the rules. Hopefully y'all have a fantastic rest of your night. I'm going to start the raid in a second. Hopefully I spelt his name right, otherwise I'm going to feel bad. Oh, he's doing a Kumu mode, by the way. So if anyone wants to watch uh, a bald man mauled more than he already is, which is theoretically impossible, then, uh, yeah, he might be on Chapter 6, too. I don't know if he's fighting the dog, <laughs> because that will be entertaining. All right, chat, have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Uh, oh, God, I got to start fucking work on this YouTube video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, go go have fun in Scott's chat. I'm going to be lurking for a sec while I uh, make food too. <laughs> Bye.